<laughs> Hi. This is uh, this is Dark Sun with Saving Throw Show. We play Dungeon World, which is kind of like D&D, but a little bit different. And Dark Sun is like Mad Max and not all that different. So basically today we're going to be playing a game that's like Mad Max meets D&D. If you haven't tuned in before. I'm sorry, were you going to say something, Erica? What? Everything seems normal. I don't know why you're Everything acting is weird. Fine. Uh, everything this seems is fine. exactly this is the same this as is it fire. normally is. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> this is fine. Um, are you going to put the fire in post? Because that's going to be really. Uh, that's going to be such Did a this, cool effect. Did no, the that's going to be a do physical. something with your hair. Oh, you see very <laughs> practical different. fire. Yeah, practical. <laughs> nice. You all seem very different. This so you're going to you're going to put fire practically in post. Yes. Oh, that's going to be very challenging. I'm not sure what yeah. the dynamics of that are going to be. Talk to Garav. Oh, okay. I will talk to Garav. I will ask him, hey, how do you practically put fire in post? And he will tell John, me, and I will be... I don't think that's Max and Alyssa. No, no, no. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I guess I should probably explain. <laughs> well, um, I think it is, Max. <laughs> oh, that's pretty okay. good. That's pretty good. Um, so, this week we are down a couple of our normal members uh, in Dark Sun, but we have new they people. finally got fed up with me. Uh, we've got some new <laughs> folks joining us. Unfortunately, um, Hollywood Boulevard is a mess. Oh, just I, can, I think all of Hollywood is a little bit of a mess traffic-wise right now, so Alyssa a is big, fat a big, mess. fat mess. Well, so Hollywood Alyssa is a mess. Blanket statement. Blanket statement. <laughs> and then to follow More it up with yeah. today. The streets of Hollywood <laughs> are, in fact, also a mess. Right? Yeah. But again, blanket statement. <laughs> but then today, <laughs> they are worse than normal. Yes. yes. So anyway, uh, Alyssa is is uh, on her way. We also have uh, David Crennan joining us. He is also on his way. Uh, you will you will remember David Crennan from Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't. About halfway yeah. through that sentence, I realized that was exactly how I wanted to be saying it, yeah. but whatever. So yeah, you will remember David from Star Wars, uh, which is a really cool show on Friday nights, uh, and uh, you'll have very recently had the chance to watch him, uh, and now you'll get a chance to watch him play some uh, in, in a more of a fantasy setting. In a, in a game he's never played before. Yeah, yeah. He's never I've, played Dungeon World. I, well, we'll teach him, like we teach the listeners at home. <laughs> yeah. Why else does Saving Throw exist? Yeah. Nope. Oh, yeah, also, oh. actually, uh, <laughs> are you listening from that's home? Fine. Then that's, no. Well, yeah. then uh, I'm just gonna no! Sit. I'll just sit quietly. Yeah. Um, that's, this is exactly how most home games go, I feel like. I'm usually the one that doesn't get introduced, so sure. this feels yeah, yeah. very normal This makes too. sense. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my friend Kelsey is with us also, and Kelsey is also new to Dungeon World, so we'll have two players at the table who have not played before. They're both experienced with tabletop RPGs, so... Fucking shut your lip. Yeah. We don't need your bull crap. It's not welcome. Uh, it is unwelcome. <laughs> exactly. Thank mm -hmm. you, Kelsey. Um, so anyway, that's that's the deal. We've got new players, and you might recognize this gentleman here as uh, Dominic Zook. That's right. <laughs> that's uh, is it. It, it can't possibly be your birth name, Dominic, is it? Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, Peter, wow. Peter Dominic Zook. Peter Dominic Zook. Uh -huh. Wow. It's so... Z I feel... Z Z Z. It just seems like Dom... Sh uh, yeah, I, it just feels weird to call you Dominic. Dominic. We'll never call you Nick. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, very unsettling. Nicky? I could call I you Nick. I get that all the time. Uh, no, actually, no, because that feels like somebody who goes to the gym a lot and yeah. tans. Yeah. So not Nicky. Which my mom nope. used to call nope. me Ricky. <laughs> Ricky? Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. Uh, Eric, uh, that's... Eric, -y. Eric, Ricky, 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 yeah, I got it. I mean, I, I, it all, there's a thread there, but it doesn't yeah. work. Um, what, what did your parents call you, Sean? Um, when my dad was Asshole. angry with me, uh, well, <laughs> I, I, uh, when my dad was angry with me, he Listen. would, he would just say, uh, shut up, you. My, my dad was, was, uh, he's, comes from an older generation, uh, so let me just say that. Uh, so he would he would call me Shaughnessy if uh, he was upset with me. Shaughnessy is a girl's name, so he would shame me by calling me a girl's name. Um, what about, about O'Shaughnessy? Uh, I don't know much about that name. Uh, I mean, probably that's gender neutral because sure. it's a last name. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, and and yeah, and then also like if he was upset, he would just tell me to stop being a dickhead. That was like yeah. I can't tell you how many times I heard "stop being a dickhead" growing right. up. Uh, numero, Chat numero. actually has taken that up. Oh, That's basically what they say. They're yeah. probably Sean, typing that right now. Stop, stop being, being a dickhead. dickhead. <laughs> um, you know what? Wow. Much, much like my father, it is. Uh, it will have 
very little effect on I'm me. I'm sure he's watching it right now, telling yeah. you. Yeah. Well, from I think afar. I think it's it's more I think it's more like the force where he can just kind <laughs> he of just senses he just Sean's senses being that I'm being a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He just stops right mowing the lawn. Nothing's <laughs> going off. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sean, you being a dickhead? It's it's like uh, uh, he just stops for a second mowing the lawn and it's like it feels like just years and years of <laughs> a life were just wasted all at once. All at once. <laughs> oh no, it's Sean it's being a dickhead. Sean. It's just Sean. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, that's that's the deal for the week. I didn't have any interesting nicknames that people said to my face. Oh yeah, yeah. People just generally uh, battered you behind your back. Right. That's pretty cool. That's like the female way, I feel. Like. <laughs> well, I in I think a lot of girls in high school get to deal with it to the face as well. Oh. Like well, you know. That's probably a, yeah. I think it's just. I think it's just in general. I feel like I'm just good at blocking it out. So, yeah. yeah. You know. Well, or, or maybe, or maybe they didn't, <laughs> and just in general, uh, everyone, or not everyone, uh, just girls in I general have it tougher, and then you get to deal with it front wise, yeah. back wise. <laughs> I, I, I front wise and back wise, I don't think are words. I think front right. ways and, and back ways. It's getting uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. What's that? Anyway, girls just have to deal with bullying <laughs> all over Kelsey, the place. Mostly, we brought you on here to, to dig up all the uh, your high right. school no, trauma. No, no. Let's mm -hmm. dig in. No, no, it'll be I, like it'll I, be like yeah. an acting class. We'll get into the. <laughs> I said we were pain. live at two yeah. twelve thirty. Um, let's tap into that trauma. Yeah. So um, and then me, you will remember from okay. See you soon. this show, um, and also no from. Okay. Bye. Last week, which was this show and other shows of last week. So, <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in last week, which is the only place you could possibly. Um, <laughs> I've never no, seen you before. Yeah, I thought we were going to stop and all talk to, to David at the time. But oh, cool, didn't, David. Didn't, didn't David didn't uh, I, I thought that, but they were lost in conversation. Yeah, I know they. Were, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I didn't. I didn't times. realize that was an option. I would have loved to put uh, put David's phone on mic and, and <laughs> see what his thoughts are about. Yeah. Just you know, nicknames. life nicknames. Last night, last Thanks. night, he told me late. He said, "Oh, uh, do you still need p players for 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 Dark Sun?" And I said, uh, "Yeah, yeah. Do you want it?" He's like, "I would absolutely love to." I'm like, "Great. Okay. Uh, so we, the start time is 12:30. We go live at 12:30." He's like, "Got it." Mm -hmm. And so he just called me. He's like, "I thought we were supposed to show up at 12:30." <laughs> Well, which well, is also <laughs> both okay. Two things. If you had done that, we would have been okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Still didn't solve the problem. Yeah, I yeah. like I like that. But in LA, it's like, well, but I thought we were supposed to start at twelve thirty so that I would get here at twelve forty five and everybody would be fine with it. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the thing about living in Los Angeles that I learned that I still struggle with because I like being on time. Is that on time is fifteen minutes early here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, on time is early. Wait, early is on time. On time is late, and late is uncalled for. <laughs> oh boy. That's that's a real that's a real dad lesson. Yeah. 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 Well, I I do play Soldier 76 quite a bit. So I take that. <laughs> that makes sense. We're uh, all so soldiers we're, we're, now. We're all soldiers now. We're all soldiers now. We're we're at, this is actually we're not going to do Dark Sun anymore. We're just going to do Let's we're, all Yeah, we're going to play Overwatch. different <laughs> Overwatch characters. <laughs> we're going to talk through <laughs> we're an all Overwatch just gonna do, game. We're just going to we're just basically going to deliver uh, versions yeah. of the ultimates. It's just high well. noon. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That was a good one. Justice <laughs> reigns from above. Nerf this. <laughs> good one. Yeah. That's actually one of the best ones. I cannot play Diva, but oh god, I love Diva so much. Mm. Such I'm a cool not character. Oh, I'm Drop the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at Lucio, though. Yeah. So. Good one. Um, so Heroes this... never die. Oh, that's a good one. Heroes never die. Yeah. It's also I I inspirational. It is. <laughs> right. Unlike a lot of the. And ultimate. where are we without inspiration? I think we should put that on the wall. Heroes never die, and then have pictures of all the heroes oh, that, that died, died. <laughs> yeah. with our death stamp. Yeah. I, oh man, I so wanted to. Um, I've always wanted a death stamp for characters I that die in my. Freaking, I'm yeah. still games. so mad that I never got you that. It would have been so cool. Um, you know what? I'm I'm resolving right now uh, because now it's on the internet, so it's I can't take it back and say it never happened. Well, we've also I'm gonna said have this a death stamp multiple times before. So, so that if we you're were watching us, get you a death stamp. Well, yeah, but now I have to. The chat has to like. If you're watching us from home, make one. Cut, cut a potato. I don't know if you've ever did this in Cub Scouts or whatever, mm -hmm. but cut a cut a potato mm -hmm. uh, into just uh, the right little, size to fit into a cannon. Right, and oh, oh, that's a different thing. That <laughs> oh yeah, no, I don't understand. What I was you're doing about. the stamp, the oh, stamp thing, okay. where you where you kind of dry. You cut I was just thinking about and mayhem. And then it makes that's cool though. Yeah, yeah, the stamp is a really good idea. That's really resourceful. Yeah. 
for all That's his talk. That's if you don't have a stamp. All Sean's talk has never killed me. He's never killed any of my characters. I've had one character die in his campaign, and it was by choice. Yeah. The situation was <laughs> one where I do feel at least, like, I presented a situation that you died in. I didn't kill that character, but, I mean, death was... The environment. Yeah. The well, it was yeah. like, it was like, okay. And you chose to stay the in reality the environment. The reality you're standing in is collapsing. Do you go through the portal? And it's like, well, obviously he's not, because he's done everything he needs to do in his life, so he's going to stay here and die. So you were like, mission accomplished. Yeah. Going yeah. down, like, the band in Titanic. Yeah. yeah. Um... Yeah, so... You like how I just blended those two? Yeah. yeah. We're going to get Mission another... Mission accomplished on the Titanic while Eric is playing a violin. We'll have... We'll <laughs> have the, in a flight suit. Yeah, we'll have the Heroes Never Die banner here, and then we'll have a Mission Accomplished banner over there. Mm. And then, oh, my God, it's all With hard. a mural that looks like an aircraft carrier. Yeah. Ooh, it will be, beautiful. You know, yeah. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, this is this is Overwatch. This is over uh, Overwatch talk. Yeah, over talk. Uh, this is over talk, <laughs> where we where we, we actually no, none of us it. actually let each other say anything yeah, wait, at what, any point what, in time. What are you talking, are you talking about? about? I'm not I, sure. I, I this seems like a pretty good also, conversation I was overall. Thinking. Yeah, I'm just saying, if I brought my laptop, we could have played some heroes. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, uh, but not shown it to anyone. We would uh, be guys, like, oh god, Hollywood it almost got me. is a mess. It is a real mess. We've got some issues with diversity. We need to address. Um, said by the white guy at the yeah. head of the table. Um, with that facial hair. With that facial hair. Oh, boy, yeah, that's true. I do not look like somebody who's understanding of, of diversity with this facial hair. Um, anyway, thanks for tuning in this uh, today and just in general. Recently, guys, our uh, fundraising for Alzheimer's Association is going swimmingly well. We are way above our target. We are continuing to fundraise. So uh, as you donate, remember that these donations continue to, uh, to go towards the Alzheimer's Association so that we can mm -hmm. uh, keep uh, keep funneling money towards a cure um, and also research and also helping caretakers as well. That's one of the things that Alzheimer's Association does. But so we have to be careful because the last time someone tried to research this on sharks, Sam Jackson got eaten. I am lost True. on that reference. True. That's a <laughs> deep, deep blue sea, yeah. Deep oh, okay. <laughs> Oh boy, that's right. I remember you and Kellen singing a song <laughs> that LL Cool J. Wrote? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Star and musician of the movie. Deep it was Blue sort of like an Literally, a Saturday Night Live. No shame that I feel about doing anything. Okay, so I'll put that on my Lewis. list, Deep Blue Sea, to watch. Uh, I assume it's on Netflix because uh, Netflix has a lot of garbage yeah. movies. I have no idea. Okay. Well, I mean, wait a second. Actually, How do you I'm not have any idea? Where else would you have seen it other than? Um. Okay. No. We watched theater? it. We watched <laughs> it way a long time ago when you still had to order your DVDs from yeah. Netflix. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, yeah. So there was even more effort involved. Which you is put more so much. <laughs> yeah. More. I'm you pretty so sure I watched it because I went to a, a blockbuster or a Hollywood video and and got the DVD when oh. that was a thing. Wow. Yeah. You win. Do, <laughs> I'm old. You know what? Actually, uh, maybe well, maybe somebody in chat knows this. Are there any blockbuster videos like left that you no. can physically go to? They, so. The I company does not close. exist anymore. Yeah. Wow. There's like one Suncoast video still around somewhere Suncoast in like Seattle. Video. But what about silver platters? Are there any more silver platters? Did you guys uh, like the item that you serve food on? Sort of. <laughs> well, first, yes. Are there any more silver platters? Yeah, I assume I, there are. Yeah. Uh, I feel like they they haven't been lost to time. Yeah. Live the game knows what I'm talking about. Silver platters. Um, According to this, there are zombie blockbusters that are still alive that were independently. Um, oh, yeah. oh, gotcha. Oh. Well, that's good, actually. I'm, I that love, makes me happy. I love that uh, there was like a, a, a blog post of all like the Hollywood video uh, storefronts that have been converted into other things where people like, they're like, well, we already have like the logo there, so we'll just be like Hollywood haircut or like. Because <laughs> 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 oh, why waste the signage? <laughs> yeah, why waste the signage? Yeah. Signs are expensive. To me, guys. it seems like you've got a really solid business plan if you're just willing to change the name of your business. <laughs> that'll be fine. That'll be fine. That's yeah. a good business approach. Like, you know what? Let's just settle for whatever was here before <laughs> and make the business work within right. those confines. That's absolutely how you run a business. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's... that's well, welcome to business talk. Yeah. <laughs> welcome. This is uh, over talk with <laughs> business talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah so that's, uh, that's some exciting stuff. Thank you for informing us, chat. Um, you can donate to the stream in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. um, you can... Uh, Another so, Five hundred dollars, and we'll start p playing the game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we'll actually start playing. Um, so, but uh, you'll you'll notice we have kind of uh, some some different players uh, today. With with Kelsey and David will be here shortly. So with oh, those, wait. David. Oh. David. Hi, David. 
here at the gate. Oh wow, this is exciting. God. Okay, nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go let you gate. in. Uh, you should un you, you I should unplug. Okay, I'll yeah. oh, see you soon. Bye. Okay, so just so everyone knows, because I think it was unclear. I'm probably Chad is very confused at what just happened. It is not clear what happened. So, David Crennan made a phone out, call. Like a yeah. Oh, they probably are cheering. So, David Crennan I made a phone here. call to Dom. Dom answered the phone. Uh, Honestly, Ch I think Chad's disappointed that we're not going to over talk anymore. <laughs> they were. I, you guys like business over talk. Right? <laughs> business over talk. We'll teach you how to be the best entrepreneur. I have a PowerPoint set up. I will not guarantee you will make money. It's no, you have to. Uh, it doesn't matter if you, they don't. You can still sell it as like Trump College. <laughs> exactly. Right? Oh, right. Trump U. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Trump U. Um, yeah, he hasn't gotten any. Well, he has a pretty significant lawsuit, I think, against him right now. <laughs> so maybe maybe let's not copy his, uh, yeah. his right. strategies. Are you sure? You're gonna um, nix that, nix that plan. Yeah, I think we'll. I think we should just only promise what we what we can guarantee, what we know we're capable of doing. So, for example, I will promise that if you follow yeah. my business strategy slash acumen, then you will destroy your enemies. Ooh. I can guarantee that. There you go. You know, it doesn't mean you make a lot of money, but you, if you do what I say, your enemies will be destroyed. <laughs> and you will hear the lamentation of their women. Exactly. Um, <laughs> So yeah, uh, so how, you can you can do, you can yeah yeah very quickly. Um, That's how things work though, you know. Uh, so you uh, so you can donate f for the stream now. Normally, if you want to to donate to Saving Throw streams, much like the other streams, you can donate to add extra bad guys to a fight if you feel like an encounter is going too easily for the for the for the party uh, for the good guys. If you feel like maybe I'm challenging them a little too much, then you can donate to give them advantage on some of their roles. You can donate to uh, make some of their special abilities pop. Uh, like for Eric, for example, he plays Yenin, uh, <laughs> who is a sorcerer king of the legendary free city of Tyr. And so he can cast spells using Defiling. Unfortunately, he does not have uh, very many uses of that left, we feel like, um, <laughs> because uh, I set an, uh, an, a number at the beginning of the campaign, which I did not tell Eric what that number was, uh, and I said, when you, when you cast a defiling magic spell, that number of times you lose your character. Yeah. So he it's has- It's more than five. It's more, we now know it's more than five, <laughs> or, or was last week six? No, last week was five. Oh, okay. I should, I should have been on last week was the fifth time. Okay. Um, so yeah, so we know that it's, and also by what I just said, we know probably it's more than six. <laughs> Sweet, I got one more <laughs> you in got you. Maybe one more in you, yeah. But the point is, uh, when he hits that magic number of having cast that many number of spells using defiling magic, his character goes kaput. Uh, we don't know that his character dies, just he, I'll take his character sheet at that point and something interesting will happen. So, but you can donate to have Eric cast a defiling magic spell, which is super, Wow, <laughs> which is super powerful uh, because Defiling Magic is so much more powerful. Uh, and when you do that, his next spell cast is, is Defiling and it doesn't count against that limit, which will end his character. So he can, he can now cast spells uh, Defiling using tremendous power uh, at no cost, essentially, by donating that. So thank you uh, for- No cost other than your own life. Right, and, and all the plant life around him. Mm. It just destroys the, all Usually of Usually I don't use my own life force. Yeah, most of the time it's pretty much like destroying all the living matter around him. Uh, so with that being said, Kiganis buys three spell boosts for Yenin. So the next three spells uh -huh. that Yenin casts are going to be defiling spells. And if you have watched the stream before, chat, and I'm assuming most of you probably have, you know that it gets a little crazy. So uh, three is way, way that... more than uh, yeah, we have okay. ever seen before. So this is gonna make <laughs> the very beginning part of this uh, session very easy. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's going to go swimmingly now we're well. In the beginning. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like he just queued up his Overwatch ultimate like three times. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> My because ultimate is ready. Because yeah. now nothing is going to be without an Overwatch reference <laughs> right. uh, because of the that goddamn be. <laughs> first 10 minutes of the stream. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, you can do that. Uh, eventually, <laughs> Alyssa will be here <laughs> and you can donate to give Alyssa a double tap for her. She's a gunslinger. So, uh, yeah, I know that guns aren't supposed to, supposed to be in Dark Sun, but Alyssa was like, what if I play a gunslinger? I was like, that sounds amazing. We're putting guns in Dark Sun. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so. not, I'm not the latest person to the, the stream today. Uh, no, no, Alyssa, wow. yeah, yeah, I know. It, it's okay, we he talked about- got real bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, didn't. yeah, it, it got real bad. messy. We, we talked a little bit of business, we talked about Trump University, how to be successful, like we, we talked about Overwatch, yeah, yeah, good, yeah. Good. we nailed everything we needed to take care of. Uh, so you can, you can donate for Alyssa to get double tap, which means 
her next uh, on her next attack, she'll do critical damage on her on her gun attacks. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. <laughs> pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> and then because David and Kelsey are not regulars to the stream, they don't have something like that. But mm. if the people in chat want to make sure that they do have something like that then you can donate uh, 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 the amount that you would normally donate for one of those things. And I will just use this second edition psionics yes. book, oh. and I will uh, I will roll some dice and randomly generate uh, a page and power, and I will just give them um, a random psionic power, which, and then I'll just like make it twice as powerful as it's supposed to be so that it's cool. <laughs> um, and these, these psychic powers All are I crazy. want is to be cool. Yeah, that's the thing, second edition, uh, second edition in general, has a lot of crazy <laughs> shit, but particularly the psionics in second edition is real crazy. Hey Sean, yeah. question. Is uh, is this more or less like second or is this more like second or fourth edition Dark Sun in terms of the setting? Um uh, it is. Mm. Uh, it's. Mm. I would say it's. It's most like fourth edition in that there is a free city of tier. I uh, there are. Mm -hmm. uh, there's. Legendary I know that. Free city yeah. Of if you oh follow the novels. Uh, if you follow the novels of Dark Sun. Um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily second edition either because there's a lot of crazy shit that happens in the novels that goes way off the timeline. So I would I would say it's probably more like fourth edition and I don't take into account all of the insanity of the of the novels that happen like after the legendary Free City of Tear and, and all that stuff. So the novels are interesting and fun and everything else, but I think uh, somewhere there in the in the eighties uh, and nineties Dark Sun got uh, real far away from its its roots um, of just kind of being a Mad Max setting. So I like going that, but I also like having Tyr be a free city. So that at least there's like one glimmer of 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 hope in a terrible dying world. So that's so uh, so that's the whole the whole Dark Sun that we're running. Also, like there's guns, so <laughs> don't worry too much. I like don't put a whole lot of thought into it because there should not be guns. But I was like, ah, Alyssa wants to play a gunslinger, so we're gonna do it, and it's, it's a lot of fun. It's our world. It's our world, exactly. Um, so yeah, that's that's the whole deal. Uh, so let's let's get started. We can go without Alyssa for now, and then when Alyssa shows up, we can drop her in the shit. And as far as I'm concerned, I was here the whole time and she's the late one. Right. Exactly. Yes, okay. yeah, yeah. So you should be like the most indignant about it. <laughs> yeah. Right. Upset. I can't believe you were late. We have a timetable. <laughs> you need to show respect to the DM. It's you unfair to waiting. all of us. <laughs> It is unfair to all of us that you did that. Yeah, yeah that's what yeah, I. I'll mean. get real upset. <laughs> yeah, then they'll then she'll know for sure that you weren't late <laughs> because of how upset you are. Um, so do you do you I'm have a, a character? Super, I'm a super expert at the system. Yeah, I uh, borrowed. Because this I have I have a character for you if you don't have one built. Is he a uh, human fighter? The character you have. Uh, uh, this is a human That's a fighter. human fighter. If you want to play a human fighter. fighter. I'm not attached. Because I also have. Um, Can I describe? Let me describe my character because I yes. have a, a, a strong character idea and a loose grasp of mechanics. Sure, that's so, okay. The great thing about Dungeon World is it's not super mechanics heavy, so that's great. So the, the character I was thinking of, his name is Hrothgar Bloodjaw. The Barbarian! I love it. Oh, yeah. And uh, I have I have defeated the tiger. I have traveled far to hunt the dragon. But these, these enemies are weak and fall beneath the blade. I have been looking for the ultimate foe. One that conquers all, and I have found it. For Hrothgar is now a follower of love. <laughs> love conquers all! Can we, can we get some of this wonderful music? Cue music! Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There's a camera over there. Yeah, right here. <laughs> love conquers all! I love it. Uh, he says he's got a big um, uh, tattoo of a heart on his chest yes. with wings coming off of it. Wow. He's otherwise just a very Conan looking guy. I love it. He fights with a lasso, is his weapon. Um, and uh, what else do we know about him? Yeah, that's about it. Love for the love god. <laughs> love for the love, love for god. the love god. <laughs> so here's here's what I would I would say because okay. the other character is a uh, is a diminutive halfling thief. <laughs> so I would say <laughs> you should play that. What? Uh, what? Want, <laughs> let's uh, let's give. Uh, idea. Yeah, let's give uh, David the uh, the fighter. Okay. Um, and and you can reskin uh, all of that uh, any of that to match how you uh, how you need it to uh, how you need it to work. It's super uh, close to what I need already. I love it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Um, so you'll, uh, yeah, you'll be you'll be good with uh, with that. I think okay, you've got a good that strength that and race. constitution. And Beautiful, Sean. Yeah. I love it. I'm on board. All right, good. So we've got a beefy. So we've got a beefy uh, barbarian fighter type uh, in in David. 
Um, Hrothgar. So, uh, you didn't give me the halfling because you were like, stop playing halflings, <laughs> yeah, Kelsey. Was, okay, in our home, just <laughs> full disclosure, in our home games, Kelsey plays halflings almost exclusively. Only small characters. Yeah, sometimes it'll be a gnome, but it's right. it's like 90% of the time it's, it's a halfling. Mm-hmm. You went out of your comfort zone a couple games ago and played an orc, which yeah. was great. It um, was. But then immediately afterwards, was like, I'm done with this. <laughs> why would I? Why would I wasn't half enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This character was like over six I need feet to tall. Be more sprightly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, so, so yeah, you. So you will be playing. Uh, uh, instead, you'll be playing the thief. <laughs> Um, Great. And so I'm gonna not have any idea how to play this. Yeah, it's, it's gonna totally be totally out of my yeah, realm. Super new. Um, <laughs> yeah. So the great thing. Oh. Uh, oh, that's very interesting. Okay. So uh, thank you, Keganis. Um, that will come up in a little bit. Keganis. So uh, and you uh, actually you can uh, if I'll have Eric write down your spell boost so you can take that off of our. Monitor yeah, I, here. I wrote it down. Um, sweet. So that way I can only have one thing in front of me. I realize two things should not be overwhelming to my brain, but I am not that <laughs> smart. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, the cool thing about Dungeon World is it is kind of a throwback d and it, it does have a lot of character customization like you're used to with... Uh, you know, fifth and fourth and, and third edition, you have choices and options and, and all that stuff, but they really simplify a lot of the dice rolls and the mechanics so that it's really more of a storytelling game. And that's what I really love about Dungeon World. It's very improvisational. Uh, we do a lot of theater of the mind. Uh, theater of the mind. It's mm. really cool. I love the game. We've been playing it for a while. So uh, at home, if you're interested in Dungeon World, you can just literally go to Dungeon World and and download everything you need to play the game. Really? Um, yeah. You can download 100% of the game from the website. That being said, you should buy the book because it's relatively inexpensive, um, and it's just nice to have as a, as a reference. It's like 20 the, bucks for that giant book. Yeah, it's great. Um, <laughs> And, and there's there's also a lot of, like, people have made a lot of custom character sheets online. Uh, if you notice, these players don't have, like, books in front of each of them. It's good to have a book at the table as a reference, but everything you need to play your character is on your character sheet. So it's two pages, you know, a little more than one page, but the great thing is those two pages are all you need to play the game. So you've got all the, all the reference material you need right there in front of you. Yeah, these two pages are basically everything that you can do in the game, pretty much. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. Um, Rouse is on there. Yeah. yeah. So you know they've got it figured out. Yeah, exactly. They've got... Uh, <laughs> one of the moves is level up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, like, it's it's great. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, the, the system is very easy to... Oh, and... That's awesome. Okay. Uh, that is going to be... I'll have to uh, figure out um, what those will look like. Okay. So, uh, last time, the... Uh, our adventuring party uh, was, oh boy, last week was very, uh, a lot happened. So, um, last week, wow. Tyr was, uh, Tyr beset. was under, yeah, was beset by mm, uh, mm. enemy forces. Two different armies attacked us. Two different armies attacked, uh, two different sorcerer kings attacked. Sorcerer kings. And, yes, these are the foul men that control all of the cities in Dark Sun. They are always authoritarian, always extremely powerful. And uh, and sorcerers, uh, they uh, they hope to become dragons. One has not yet become a dragon, but all these sorcerer kings want to become dragons. I, it's a challenging process. I, I killed one of them, but then he turned into mist and flew, flew and flew away. So I assume he's a Dracula. <laughs> a Dracula. This is worry. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's a very reasonable <laughs> thing to thing to think. Actually, uh, that's actually. Oh man, he definitely is a Dracula now. <laughs> okay, so, um, so yeah, there's, so yeah, he killed a, or thinks he killed a, uh, a Dracula sorcerer. King. Well, I caused one to fall to his death, and that one's a Dracula. And that one is definitely a Dracula. Uh, and then there's another one that's a lich that you defeated last week, but unfortunately wow. didn't know where the phylactery is at. And then the very first sorcerer king that the party fought, uh, who was the least powerful in all of Dark Sun, they killed, took over his city, and now Yenin is the sorcerer king. Of the legendary free city of Tyr, and he uh, abolished slavery uh, and wow. and indentured servitude, opened the markets, uh, and and it was just it's just been good for everyone. A worthy party then for the might of Hrothgar. Exactly. And the god of love. <laughs> unlike <laughs> unlike many cities uh, in Tyr, oh. there Yenin has been breaking down class barriers so people can marry who they want to want to marry, which is, that is very love unusual. Love knows no limits. Love encompasses us all. No. You may marry whoever it is you, you choose. It's 
of no consequence to me. He is a wise leader. <laughs> it is, a, yeah, that's, that's your, your leadership style is like, I just don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Which I guess is the stance you should take on things like that. Um, so uh, around, as you look around here, there are uh, murals. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it's basically like North Korea. You see murals <laughs> that Yenin has put up of himself, like doing these great actions, saving the city and taking care of people. You see statues just throughout the town of Yenin. You also see his adventuring companions, but they're always smaller than him, okay. uh, which is physically my, my not the truth. My chest is always kind of like heaving and like shirt unbuttoned. And yeah, like and, and he's a relatively frail wizard. <laughs> I mean, you're a Fabio wizard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The reality does not match the propaganda, uh, but the people love their Sorcerer King, and it's the first time they've ever heard of a Sorcerer King that wasn't just like completely awful. So everybody's just like super on board with it. Very good. So, uh, I will as. I pledge my axe to you. Uh, as the city, uh, as the city was uh, collapsing <laughs> upon itself with all of these, with all of these attacks, uh, Yenin and, and his crew marshaled as, mu as many forces as they could to strike out after, after pushing back the forces that were attacking Tyr. They knew that they had to leave some of their army behind, and then they marshaled as many forces as they could to strike out against who they believe attacked the city. So the, the group left along with, uh, they, you're one of the awesome. soldiers uh, that they were able to commission to help attack this, uh, this other city. And as you, as you got to the city, you, you realized that it was very empty. Like the city was just bare, very too quiet. Empty. Too empty, <laughs> exactly. Um, Eventually, you you took out the Sorcerer King and, and saved the day against the Sorcerer King, but as he as he died, he made it. He kind of gave a little wink and made clear that he had sent off his army to attack Tyr. So unfortunately, now no. there are problems back at Tyr that you weren't able to deal with because because you you took him out. He mad maxed us. Exactly. He mad Max Fury eroded us. Exactly. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, you, you, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got Fury eroded. Uh, and as as you're leaving as you're leaving the town, um, you catch up with this halfling who is part of the resistance in this city, fighting against the Sorcerer King, trying to rebel, uh, and. Uh, yeah. You you had actually been uh, you had been petrified and had just been a statue mm. for some time before you, all of a sudden the, whatever spell it was that did this you broke Love, and no doubt loves true kiss <laughs> no, broke that spell yep loves true true kiss <laughs> broke the spell if that's what you want to believe whatever I mean you see well, like that's what he keeps telling me but. yeah I uh, mean I did I did a lot of magic <laughs> it, that's probably what it was but you know yes. so in the uh, in the week that it takes you to get back to Tyr from this city, uh, you actually get to know your your new companions fairly well, uh, and and they are interesting people to say the least. Uh, Yenin, I'm going to let you kind of describe your character a little bit, uh, and uh, make sure that you are paying attention to these two descriptions as uh, or all of the descriptions as much as you can, because I'm going to have you two fill out your bonds. Mm -hmm. uh, your bonds are on the bottom left of your front character sheet, yes. and so what, what I'll do is I'll just have you pick um, any of the characters, so uh, whether it's uh, Kelsey, Alyssa, or, or Eric, pick one of their characters for, for each bond. So uh, go ahead and describe Yenin for me, Eric. Uh, Yenin's kind of, I mean, he's not a very tall man. He's kind of frail-ish and, and, and pale. Sharp eyes, wild hair. Uh, he used to have a worn robe, but I say he's much more stylish robe. I mean, not overly ostentatious, but you know, he's a sorcerer king now, so he, he classes it up a little bit. Dress up a little, yeah. Yeah, and uh, he's got a, a ring on his, uh, on his index finger. Uh, that has caused his finger to go completely black. <laughs> so he's got this weird shadowy finger now. Yeah, the black finger. Yeah. I've heard stories. <laughs> you probably have. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no so doubt. many people say, oh, I don't know Yenin, never met <laughs> Yenin. It's, like, it's nice to see someone who doesn't lie. <laughs> <laughs> right, because if somebody says they haven't heard of you, they're just definitely yeah, lying. Right. Okay. For sure. <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, and you've saved the city of Tyr. Yeah. Multiple times. <laughs> uh, okay, and uh, Ember? Ember is very small. She's a halfling. Um, she's pretty quiet most of the time, but she's a hell of a sharpshooter. She's a gunslinger. Um, 
that's about it. Give us a she little came backstory. From, okay, backstory. Yeah, because um, these two are going to need to build some bonds right. off of this. Uh, she came from a sort of like a very small village. Her dad was the only one in Dark Sun that knew how to uh, how to make guns um, mm-hmm. and passed that on to Ember. Uh, and her whole family was murdered in a raid. Uh, and she got out and she sort of carries that everywhere that she goes. Sort of like the guilt that she couldn't do anything and mm. the guilt that she was the one that lived. So. It's, a, it's a very common thing in Dark Sun, unfortunately, <laughs> is these difficulties. Uh, David, Sad. you wanna you wanna give yes. us your, your <laughs> insanity <laughs> once again? Yes, my name is Hrothgar Lajar, the Barbarian. Uh, big, overstuffed Conan the Barbarian type. Maybe if Conan was taking even more steroids and stuff, really mm-hmm. just huge, rippling pecs, um, eager eyes, battered helm, scarred skin, ravaged body. Uh, just absolutely looks like just a feral barbarian, loincloth, all that thing. Um, except for the giant uh, tattoo of a big heart, really ornately done, with wings coming out of it. <laughs> Rothgar has traveled from distant lands to look for the ultimate test of his might. I have defeated the tiger. I've hunted the dragon. The sorcerer kings are but mortal and will die. Yet there is one one force which cannot be overcome, which was taught to me by the simple priestess in a distant shrine. Love. Love conquers all. <laughs> love for the love god. Love for the love god. <laughs> so, love for the love god. Yeah, I have a, so Hrothgar has a um, blood-stained lasso that he uses for his signature weapon. Nice. Um, and he's a human, which I think I hit. Yep. And I think that's about it. Yes. Yeah. So. All right, and Kelsey, you are playing? I am playing Nyx, the halfling, what are they called in this? Thief. <laughs> thief. <laughs> the thief. thief. <laughs> it's too complicated. I'll just go. I'll just show myself. Now. Um, so let's see. Uh, I am, let's say I am a sort of a trickster. I enjoy getting into mischief. Um, but I do like fighting for the greater good, kind of a street urchin type that now has taken upon myself to write things that I have deemed to be wrong <laughs> in ways that I deem appropriate. Mm. A bit sometimes of an anti-authoritarian. Society, sometimes society doesn't agree. Double halfling party. A vigilante. And Double they can party. bring that up to me if they can catch me. Okay. I'm like Aragon over here. <laughs> happens in my party. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, so you, uh, yeah, even even he like, I mean, Yenin is a human, but like looking at him, like he's not like a, he's pretty small. Yeah. I'm a, I, I'm the Gandalf of the group. I'm like weird, <laughs> mysterious. Nobody knows where I'm from. I nice. talk funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. You do talk funny. And Rothgar is pushing seven feet. Just a mountain of a man. Yeah, so. it's seven feet tall, right, and like four feet wide. Yeah, I think that's about right. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're just the ridiculous shoulders. Just like yeah. wider than we are tall. Yeah, far, <laughs> yeah exactly. Far too enormous. So um, I'm going to have you, David, um, pick your first bond, yes. uh, assign one of the other characters to that bond, and then read it out loud for me. Okay. I, I think I could fill all these in right now. Is could I? Run uh, I'm going to have you go back and forth. Okay. Um, so good. give me the first one. Okay. Uh, Yellen owes me his life, whether he admits it or not. <laughs> that is going to be very upsetting because his name is Yenin. <laughs> and so once again, somebody is a little off <laughs> on who you are. My apologies. <laughs> Yellen, <laughs> you, but you owe me life, your life. And your name is Yellen. <laughs> You'll remember someday, Yellen. It's, no, it's you're Yellen. Name. Calm I'm down. I'm for sure calling you that I'm again. I'm like Queen Dalla. <laughs> From now I'm on. I'm confident in myself. And Good point. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Queen Dana. Queen Dana? Uh, Queen Dalla. Queen Dalla? Or Queen Dina. Queen Dina. Queen Dina. That's right. No one. I might no. change it again. They, they came, you, you very well could. Uh, they came across Queen an Dalla NPC. Queen Dalla sounds even more feminine now. They came across an NPC who was, uh, who was it, like just so impressed with the power of, of the Sorcerer King and just like really wanted to get ahead and everything. And so the Sorcerer King Called her by a different name, and she's like, "Well, okay, that's my name now." Also, also, it was a boy, yeah. and then we just started calling it a girl. So he just adopts the, the persona, the fem- yeah. just to adapt. He's like, you know what? That's the gender the Sorcerer King wants 
wants me to present, so that's the gender I I'm presenting now. I will be female. That is yeah. the power of love. I now identify <laughs> as female. <laughs> or obsession, however you want to describe it. Uh, all right, your first bond, Kels. Um, all right. Well, I guess I'll say Rothgar, the barbarian. Yes. He's always got my back when things go wrong. Yes. Always. <laughs> all right, next one, David. I have sworn to protect Yellen. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to get old. <laughs> Someday you're going to understand. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your next one, Kels? Uh, Ember knows some incriminating details about me. She would. <laughs> she knows some incriminating <laughs> details about Yenin, too. <laughs> <That's> so <true. laughs> and she knows Aoden's. True, True name. name. Yeah. She knows a lot of shit. Yeah, there's some deep shit you're holding <laughs> on to. That's awesome. Um, and this, that's one of the things I really like about Dark Sun is these bonds, like, it forces canon into these characters, so people have to... You uh, you have to recognize that truth now. So like Ember, you know, as you see Ember play with uh, uh, Nyx, mm -hmm. as you see these characters play together, they have to reconcile that truth. It is a lot like improv, where if somebody says something, you have to yes and it and and really incorporate that into the truth of of the game you're playing, which is really neat. And it sometimes throws a wrench into the character that you think that you're playing, but I think that makes it more fun because you have to you you have to use your brain to say, okay, how is this true? How does it fit into the character that I've decided? And it's a good, it's a little bit of a brain workout too, emotionally, which I really like. Yes. All right, so next bond, David. I worry about the ability of Yellen to survive in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair, he is, he's a wizard type, so he's not quite as strong and beefy as you are. No. Uh, Nyx, next one. Well, Yellen and I have a con running. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, think you have one more, right? Do I? Uh, I you I may not, but uh, I think the fighter has I'll four. Oh, no, I do. Yellen is soft, but I will make him hard. <laughs> 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 well, that's uh, good, because you can aid me now and yeah. roll real well with that. Oh, Yellen. <sighs> He's lost himself and believes himself to be this other person. So, so. Uh, go ahead and give me your last one, Nix. Hmm, okay. I stole something from Yenin. <laughs> oh, nice. His heart. What? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, the cool thing about bonds is not only do they kind of tie the party together and, and force us to you know interact and have connections and relationships, they also have a mechanic associated with them. So whenever you attempt to aid somebody else in the party, so if Yenin is trying to do something and uh, Rothgar wants to assist, then the mod, so he'll roll 2d6. The modifier to that 2d6 for your aid check is the number of bonds you have with the character you're trying to aid. Oh, wow. So that it really means the more you know bonds you have, the more you're tied with another character, the more you work together. Uh, so it also has a little bit of a game mechanic. That's awesome. You, you don't, uh, you're not constantly uh, using the aid skill, but every once in a while you will, and it's nice to, you know, to have that play a little bit of a role. Nice. So, uh, as you as you get back to Tyr, having had the opportunity to, to get to know each other over the course of the week, defending against uh, marauders that, that attack you and stopping at watering holes, being ambushed by, like, literally the cactuses and trees around you <laughs> as they, they strangle and attack you and you survive, as, as lizards just burrow out of the ground and start biting at... at all of your bodies. Yeah. Tender bits. Yeah, your it's tender bits. It's a good bits. place to build a vacation home is what you're saying. Exactly, Absolutely. yeah, Dark Sun is just so great. <laughs> so as you deal with all of that difficulty. Uh, the seeds of hatred have been planted in these deserts. We must replace them with the seeds of love. Okay, so as uh, so uh, actually, so speaking of, uh, so you you get through, and just as you're get about home? to get back to, to Tyr, you stop at one last caravan spot. Uh, and as you stop there, you're only, two days uh, from Tyr, you set up camp, it's, it's relatively safe, and in the evening you're all woken up by the sound of battle. As you battle. As, as you wake up, <laughs> that's how Rothgar <laughs> wakes up. <laughs> does always, just, whether or not there's battle. Yeah, does Rothgar <laughs> wake battle. up like that normally in the morning too? Yeah. I recognize that sound anywhere. It's battle. <laughs> no, Rothgar, it's just eggs. It's, we're it's just cooking. Yeah, we're cooking. <laughs> Smash through the kitchen door. Yeah. Rattle I, the frying I'm pan. just sharpening these knives. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Yellen! No! 
<laughs> Yenin, <laughs> Yenin actually knives. gets cut from one of the knives as you're like wrestling them away from him. <laughs> yes. Okay, so. Uh, Don't worry, Yenin, I'll stick by her side. Uh, courtesy of Space Colonizer, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kelsey gets advantage because she is both new and on time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here's your, here's your advantage coin. You can use that when you want. Um, and so when you when you roll 2d6, uh, if you don't like the numbers you see, you can take the lower of the two dice and roll it again. Uh, nice. You'll have to spend that coin to do it. All right. So uh, thank you, Space Colonizer, for thank advantage. You, Space Colonizer. Uh, thank you, Space but Colonizer. I, the thing is, Space Colonizer doesn't just do things small. He goes big. <laughs> give it, big. then he take it away. Yeah, he <laughs> give it, and then he take it away. So. Uh, as that ha uh, as as you wake up refreshed and ready to, to to start the day, and you hear these these signs of skirmishing happening outside, you look outside of of your the yurt the communal yurt that you're all staying in. You look outside, and there are three giant uh, beetles that are just covered by thrycreen, uh, like riding these beetles, and they look like the fire beetles so from. Yes, the mantis folk, that's one way to call them that. Um, they would be very upset for you to call them that, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, and these, these beetles are absolutely, we've, we've, seen, we've seen them from Yenin before. He uh, is able to summon a smaller version. Mm -hmm. But these beetles are replicas of the ones from Starship Troopers that breathe lava. So, and there are three of them just surrounding, surrounding the, this, this ramshackle caravan town. Thank you, Space Colonizer, for, nice. uh, for the three giant beetles. Uh, that are Thank you. Thank you, Space Colonizer. <laughs> attacking the town. I shall kill them in your name. <laughs> so, the cool thing about Dungeon World is even though we're in combat, we don't have to worry about initiative, we just go. So, oh. who wants to go? Rothgar! <laughs> okay, Rothgar. <laughs> has, Get has, him. has already, as, as we've established, even if it's just eggs, he smashes through the door, the tent, whatever, so he yeah. bursts out of the yurt. Mm -hmm. Blanket still trailing from him. There My lasso. There was there was an opening five feet to your right <laughs> <laughs> as you burst through the uh, ah, walls. Cool Aid Man style. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have to protect Yellen and to a lesser extent Nix. <laughs> 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 I'm also smaller, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I uh, get out my lasso, trusty lasso. It's always yeah. at my side. Yeah. Um, gosh, how far away are they? And what else do I see? Is it uh, just us in the camp? Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, Gosh, that's a great That's question. the thing about Dungeon World is I don't really care uh, <laughs> about like the reality so much. Okay. It's just tell me what you want to do, and if it's so insane, then I'll kind of back it off a little bit if it needs to be backed off. But just three what are, giant beetles. Three giant beetles surrounding this caravan and that are like twenty have, feet tall. And there's a bunch of the uh, uh, Rykeen on top. On top of them, yeah, like half a dozen on each one. Uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna go legless on one of these Rykeen. Gonna run, leap up, try mm -hmm. and throw my lasso around one of its. Uh, horns or whatever to come yeah, off the front of it yeah. and jump onto the neck and try and uh, pull it away into one of the other beetles. Okay, uh, make me a defy danger uh, roll and then add your strength modifier. Yes. Uh, I can use any step for that, huh? Uh, well, you can, but I think your strength is going to be best. Strength, great. Yeah. Okay, and what is, what modifier do I add? Uh, add, your, uh, add your strength modifier. Great. Ooh. Oh! Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm, I haven't warmed up yet. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you, uh, so so you, you throw your lasso in the name uh, of the love god. And and the lasso, uh, the lasso. Unfortunately, the beetle moves just as you throw the lasso. What? So unfortunately, uh, the lasso grabs a hold of of like. It's uh, you made the loop uh, like big enough for this, you know, for this giant horn. So it's nice. way too big for one of these thrycreen. So it's the loop is so big that it actually grabs three thrycreen, and oh. and and they're just able to barely hold on. So you can climb up the rope, get up onto the top of it. But all three of these thrycreen are now completely uh, subdued by by your lasso. You just throw them off the side of the beetle, and they harmlessly just they crash to the ground, and they look like they're no problem now. So you're on top of the beetle, and you're down three thrycreen. Green from this. Wonderful. Another threesome <laughs> established by Hrothgar. <laughs> Love Bringing spreads. People together as Bringing well. people together. Yep. Correct. <laughs> All right, so I'm on top of the beetle now. Yeah, you're on top of the beetle, and uh, you can you can hack and slash, you can attack the beetle, or you can attack any of the Thrycreen that are up here. I can still attack. Oh, Absolutely. Why not, right? Yes, why not? Um, by beetle people, these Thrycreen have no love in their hearts. Cold, emotionless eyes. We'll change that um, <laughs> by attacking them. <laughs> <laughs> just by murdering them. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess I'll just uh, 
uh, head out, head down, arms out. I'm mm -hmm. going to run across the back of the beetle and just try and clothesline a bunch of them off the top. Awesome. Yeah, uh, I'll still call it a hack and slash. Hack and slash yeah, add good. your strength mod to this. Okay, let's do it again. These guys worked out for me before. Uh, ooh, getting extreme. So that's uh, five after my strength. No. Yeah. Six. six after my strength. Okay, mod. just short. <laughs> um, so six, uh, six and below is is a failure. Yes. Uh, so as you as you go running into these thrycreen, you do, uh, you catch a couple of them, <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately they just kind of like grab onto your arm and stuff. <laughs> oh. so, so they just like follow you as you keep running, <laughs> uh, and and they're like, okay, this is a thing, and they just start sticking you with spears as you're carrying them. Running, so should have used the lasso again. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna have you. I'm gonna have you roll their damage, uh, but they're gonna have advantage on it. So roll me two d10s. Uh, yeah, sorry, there are some dice needed besides d6s. Yeah. Like okay. uh, your uh, uh, yeah, your damage, by the way, um, is uh, you'll. Uh, this isn't needed right this minute, mm -hmm. but your damage is a d10 plus a d8 plus two. You I see where it. I wrote that on there? I so yeah, so that. They do, more than me. they do wow. Is that a nine? Okay, so ten total actually. So that's only a one. Oh, you don't. Uh, it's just the higher of the two. Oh, nine. So nine. Okay, so you take well, nine. Awesome. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. Uh, so this, both of these Thrycreen are just actually there's two of them, so it is ten because when you're getting attacked by more than one creature, we add one. Oh, okay. It's probably so reduced by your. Armor. But it is going to be reduced by your armor. Um, Good. So Which your armor should be at, in the center at, towards the I top. Have five armor. So you reduce it by five. Nice. Great. That is uh, a ridiculous amount of armor. Yeah, that's that insane. Is a lot. Well, yes, I'm. Just I work out a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're just the thick skin that you have, and just your general, and you just you're just so you're just so loving that they just can't seem they can't yeah. they can't they, just like, they don't want to kill you. you. Throw them the puppy dog eyes as they come in with the spears. You just can't do it. It's like the Harry Potter thing. <laughs> yeah, they can't hurt me. Yeah, Where it's like they just can't touch him. Yeah, it's too beautiful. Yeah, okay. you have plot protection. Uh, so you take five damage. Beautiful. All right, and that was Hrothgar. Who's up next? Yenon's going to drop a fireball on top of one of these guys and just kind of roast all these fucking thrice. Yenon, be careful! Yenon doesn't have to be careful. Uh, <laughs> That's a 13, right? Uh, yeah, at least. I mean, I'm sorry. Okay, so yeah, you you drop a fireball on top and, and of... And this is one of my defiling. Cause yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah, um, so you drop a fireball on top of one of these beetles. trying to sleep! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and just vaporize all six of the Thrycreen on top of the, uh, not the one that Hrothgar is no. on. This fireball just vaporizes all six of them. And instead of, it actually isn't even a thrown fireball, it's just Yenin just reaches up and literally a meteor mm -hmm. from the dark sun of Athis crashes into uh, into this beetle and just vaporizes all six of the, th the Thrycreen on it. The beetle, uh, the beetle itself is, clearly dead as well but as it falls it just sprays lava all over the battlefield so everybody other than Hrothgar who's uh, mm. up high needs to make me a defy danger to uh, avoid this lava so defy danger you'll roll 2d6 as normal and you need to add one of your ability modifiers depending on how you're avoiding it so okay. Yenin let's see what pace is uh, so four uh, doesn't matter. Anything I add, <laughs> unless, unless we're talking intelligence. I don't buy yeah. intelligence. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How can I avoid the trajectory and the wind? Yeah. He's just talking stuff. about lava, <laughs> talking about like what it's made of. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, you know, lava is not actually <laughs> real. Even when you think about it, it's completely. It's, 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 in, it's in the mind. <laughs> it's very pain is in the mind. I'm their fine. Plasma form. You know, That's usually true. it is solid or gas. Plasma is different. Yeah. Very different. <laughs> 12. Nice. I guess 13 if I use my small size, but I'm fine. You're fine. <laughs> oh, golly. All right. Well, I guess I'll use dex. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, dex. Nice. So. Halflings for the win. <laughs> <laughs> so, success. Success. Okay. Uh, so, so Yenin is the only one that's having a bad day. Mm hmm. Uh, this is going to ignore armor if you have any, and it's going to be the better, the higher of 2d12. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's lava <laughs> hitting you in the face directly. Seven, four, six, so seven. So that's, seven. Yeah, that's actually well, pretty... For a lava wave. It could have been, like, been 12. Yeah. Right. How many hit points do you... What is your maximum hit points? Uh, it's currently 17. Oh, so yeah, you're in perfectly fine shape. <laughs> this is fine. Um, also, just so people at home are aware, 
Um, these characters are all level six or seven. Five. Uh, oh boy, I made them yeah. Yeah. higher level. I was gonna say I seem really high level. You are. So here's the thing. We didn't. Um, we didn't do our. Yeah, stuff we, last we'll, week, we'll definitely make sure to, to level on stream at the end uh, here, so people can see that again. But uh, you'll notice that even even with like super high level characters in Dungeon World, which level seven is super high level in, in yeah, Dungeon World. Yeah, it only World, goes to ten. It only goes to ten, um, and there's not like a huge discrepancy in power between the different levels. And your hit points never change, really. Other than like mm. they might they might get bumped up very slightly by your Constitution score increasing, but at level ten, you know you might have a fighter with maybe twenty eight hit points. I think is the maximum amount of hit points you could possibly see in the game. It's just you can die very easily in this game. It's I mean you just wow. saw you know Yenin could have taken twelve damage in one shot right there, and this is by far not the most dangerous creature they've faced nowhere close. Mm -hmm. These are not sorcerer kings, so it's it's not uncommon to just to just die on fire. Wow, in lava. Lava. So. Even. So it's a lethal system, but and yet I have not killed any characters this. Uh, that's okay. We're coming up towards the end of a season. Definitely one person's got to die. So that's the quota. Actually, my pro my producers no. have been have been very clear with me. The producers are saying, "Sean, listen. Chad is clamoring for death. It's not like they want blood. It's not like Sean doesn't try. Because <laughs> like, okay, there'll be there's a bunch of Earth elementals. Oh, space colonizer uh, uh, donated to buff them. Okay, they're they now turn into three <laughs> beholders. Uh, yeah. That's actually literally is what I did. That's that a good happened? call. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like you know if somebody donates then to buff bad guys, they need to get their money's worth. So Earth elementals turn into beholders. That's canon. <laughs> That's dark. That's science. how it Obviously, works. Obviously, that is the order of operation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's just how it works. Hello. So, uh, who's next? Ember, while she is uh, flipping away from the lava, is going to take a shot at the beetle that Rothgar isn't on. Okay. The other beetle. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good shot. Oh, wow. Those are ones or sixes. Six. 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 Yeah, six. The, the nerdest symbols are sixes. Not in my book. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. I don't have the ability to, to make the reality fit what you want it to. Damn it. <laughs> Seven. Okay. Uh, and uh, is any of that piercing? Uh, yeah, one. Okay. One so uh, these these beetles have really thick shells. So you, you do some damage to this beetle, but it is significantly reduced. All right. Uh, yeah, so I think the only person left this round is Nyx. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, I am going to go and run underneath the beetle that Ember just shot. Try to see if I can find a little weak spot in its shell. Mm. Fire my arrow up into his little underbelly. Oh, nice. And poison him. Okay. All right. What poison I'm are you using? I'm gonna do all those things. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, what poison are you using first? I'm gonna use serpent's tears. Okay. What does that oh, do? Oh wait. Yes. Right. What do these things mean by the? Oh, this is. I have to apply it. That's a touch. So if it's a touch poison, does that mean if it's on my arrow that it, then count. it touches yeah. the the thing I'm attacking? Yeah. Is that how that works? Yeah. So you're using serpents. Uh, serpents something? tears. Okay. Anyone and what dealing do? damage to the target rolls twice and takes the better result. Oh. <laughs> oh so you're gonna so you're yeah. gonna weaken this beetle. I'm gonna weaken the beetle. All right. Um, Maybe. <laughs> okay. So so you run in so you run in to get underneath the beetle. Okay. So yep. first make me a defy danger roll. As, okay. As it's spitting lava to get underneath mm. it. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Yeah. It's gonna be fine. Okay, you succeed for sure. All right, nice. so you get underneath the beetle, and uh, and now you're going to just fire an arrow directly up into its soft underbelly. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, same thing. Uh, roll, uh, add your dex. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Um, so 12. 12, so great. So you, you deal damage, no consequences, no complications. I hate consequences. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't say no consequences because I cannot promise that, <laughs> but I can promise no complications to that action. Because right. I, I wiped one out and then took seven, to, then it was burned <laughs> yeah, by lava. Yeah. Right, exactly. So. Okay, so 
Sorry. Um, so roll moves. your damage. Your damage die is towards the top left. Uh, so there's okay, that. Okay, so my D8. Your D8, and and I'm gonna let you backstab. Uh, so oh. use your backstab ability because Which the beetle. Which is plus two D6. Uh, yeah, if you, if you wanna choose that. Um, there's a couple of, uh, basically you choose, well, here's the question. Oh, okay. I so got it. if you want to backstab, you have to make a check to do that. So basically, you can you can either just straight up roll your damage, which mm -hmm. is a d8, mm -hmm. add nothing to it. I'll apply the poison. We move on. But if you want to backstab, you got to make a check to do it. Okay. Mm. So that's up to you. So you can make that check, and it'll let you maybe do a little extra damage and add an effect if you succeed on the check. All and right. is her attack a hack and slash? Um, yes, it is a hack and slash. And because you got a, a 10 or above, you can drop that down to 7 to a 9, take the consequences, and add an additional d6. Oh. There you go. So basically, what, he's, what, say <laughs> so what he's saying <laughs> is make your check to backstab if you yeah. choose to do so. All right. Uh, and if Let's you do it. All right. Okay, great. Nice. So you like succeed. That. So you get to pick out of that list for backstab, you mm -hmm. can pick two of those things. <gasps> okay. Two of those bullet points. All right, basically. so I deal my damage to two. I get my two d six. Right. And then I don't get into melee with it. Oh, okay. Because gotcha. <laughs> I'm under it. That's it. Okay. So I don't want to get into melee with it. Okay. So you, you. So you. So you run in and. I'm like sliding underneath it. Yeah. So it's you slide super underneath cool. it. You shoot an arrow into it and then continue sliding, sliding. out the right. behind uh, it and and it's just like you were never there in the right? first place. Yep. All right. Roll it your has damage. No Lost idea style. what just happened. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. So nine. Lucky threes. And nine. Do I add? Uh, you add nothing something? to it. Okay. So it just is nine. Yeah. And um, it's. So anyone applying or anyone dealing damage to the target rolls twice and takes the better. So results. anytime you damage this beetle, guys, you basically have advantage against yeah. it on your on your damage rolls. Nice. So, uh, even even as you fire into its softer underbelly, it's still really like it's it's beefy this thing is no joke so the arrow doesn't even like sink in that <laughs> well but it scratches it just enough to to get the poison on it that's all we cared about yep uh, and it does take a little bit of damage it's a baby gash yeah oof, that is a interesting <laughs> turn of phrase <laughs> i'm that makes me deeply uncomfortable <laughs> to hear that phrase yeah. kind of yeah any way i turn that over my head <laughs> that's not well, it's the, from it's something that i can't remember what did the beetles have like a uh, little like what is it? Feel Mandibles? Man uh, yes. No, like the head Oh, thing. the antenna? yeah, they've got antenna. For antenna? Sure. Yeah, okay. bugs have antenna. Then I'm going to... Uh, I know that. Because we never... <laughs> <laughs> and eyelids. They for sure have eyelids. Yeah, everything, everything, everything. in Sean's dark Probably son has eyelids. Yep. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> it's the only way I can do emotion is with eyelids. <laughs> uh, Yenin is going to spout some lore, which is a mo move you can do in this. One of my favorite moves. Uh, yes. we, don't, we don't do it nearly enough. Uh, yeah, it's true. Uh, I... Yeah. And, uh, let's let's tell people at home what spout lore mm. means and a couple of our players. So yeah. spouting lore is a really cool thing. Basically, you you know how I just said something is canon. Mm -hmm. uh, you can make canon in Dungeon World, and Yenin is doing that like right it. now. Nice. So it, basically, Attempting you roll it. a spout lore, and and you make something be true about the world. Now you can fail the roll, but that doesn't. Like, we still have to we still have to reconcile what he's trying to do <laughs> with the reality of the world. So let's see what Yenin's canon is that he comes up with. Okay, in the world. Yenin's gonna yell. To Rothgar, hey, if you rip off it, it, the antennas, it will f it will just fall down. <laughs> <laughs> or, <laughs> Ooh. um, so uh, I what is that's a plus three, right? I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay, so it's a six total. Yeah. Okay. I can't possibly injure a living creature like this. <laughs> it's so, too beautiful. So as so you you hear him yell, if you tear off the the antennas, then it then it will just fall harmlessly to the ground. <laughs> Ember just kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Ember's Ember's like that can't possibly be true. And actually, I'm pretty you, sure that makes him berserk. Actually. <laughs> yeah. And and actually that It'll is like grow that another is a, head like a hydra. That is exactly <laughs> yeah. what it does. Uh -oh. Is if you if you mess with their antenna, they go absolutely berserk, and. By that point, it's too late because <laughs> Yenin is Yenin is the most studied out of all of you. So you always trust what he has to say about things like this. You grab the antenna think, and and as soon as you put your hands on it, you're like, this was I shouldn't have trusted Yenin. <laughs> no, actually, in this case, I'm going to say even I know that this is not going to work. But I go, 
Yellen. <laughs> Whatever oh. you wish. Oh, oh Yellen. <laughs> Just go for it. Yeah, you rip off the I antenna can't and him. Uh, you rip the antenna off with ease. Ha! Because of your massive strength. <laughs> and immediately the the beetle's eyes turn red and just it's goes. Eyelids <laughs> just <open. laughs> it's eyelids open and you see its eyelids go flying off. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I'm sorry, no it's angry. <laughs> yeah, it's you've never seen eyes roll so hard in your life. And and the Am I bringing you pleasure, Beetle? <laughs> Drum in its head with its own antennas. <laughs> and it just uh, the the beetle just just starts running around wildly. Um, no. You and uh, so Ember and Yenin uh, need to make me uh, dexterity checks as it's like running around you, like stomping its its sharp legs around you. And then you need to make me a defy danger to try and stay on the beetle. I'll just walk. <laughs> yeah, you're you're safe because you're basically hidden. <laughs> I am good. Seven plus my dex. Sure, I'll buy dex. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Then uh, seven. <laughs> oh, so okay. All right. So total of total of seven. Oh, um, oh no. Ooh, yelling no. <laughs> yelling, look out for its pointy feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Okay. The good news is this hurts l- much less than lava. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna have you take the higher of two d six. Is there any way, and I don't know how it quite works. Is there any was way it just a fail for you? Is two yeah, months. it was snake, snake eyes. eyes. Oh, yeah. oh, it was snake eyes? Yeah. Is there any way that, that Hrothgar can hurl his body? Can I take the defend move <laughs> out of order to, because every single bond I have is for yelling. <laughs> sure. Um, when I see yelling about to get pierced through, is there any way I can hurl myself off and take the blow for him? Okay, so uh, you, rolled a, you rolled a seven on your die f- uh, for yeah. the defy danger, right? Beta! All right, uh, what is your con modifier? Uh, plus two. Plus two. So. Use the defend move and and uh, don't roll it just as if you had no. rolled a nine. So we're gonna use okay. that roll uh, and and instead of defying danger, you're just gonna defend. Okay, that works for me. Yeah. So uh, so that should give you. I think it gives you one hold. Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, so if you want, you can uh, you can spend that one hold that you got um, to uh, redo, to do any of the things it says you can redirect do. Redirect an attack from the thing you defend to yourself. Okay. So I'll you so so. You uh, shoulder in and just knock Yellen out of the way. Um, Take these antennas, <laughs> Yellen! <laughs> and, and, and yeah, the, it just goes, just smashing into your chest. I think I've got it! Um, I am, uh, I am. It's already in your chest. Okay. <laughs> You're like, I got, uh, I got it, guys. However, I'm going to increase the damage from 2d6 because I did not realize it was Snake Eyes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and Snake Eyes is always going to be worse. Yeah. Uh, always. So we're going to call it. Uh, Has to be. It's Still not as bad as lava, so we're gonna call it 2d10. So the higher of 2d10. I recall these. Anything for Yellen. Uh, tens, baby. Double <laughs> no. tens. Okay, so <laughs> ten damage. Uh, you can <laughs> <laughs> blood is sprayed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just goes all the way through. Yellen's just holding these two antenna going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is your doing, Yellen. <laughs> Fly, you fool! <laughs> Fly, you fool. <laughs> You've said that before to him, too. He's yeah. just quoting it back to you. Yes. <laughs> That's how it works. I'll always love you! <laughs> In platonically. <laughs> but that's still love. This is a form of love. Uh, Ember, what did you end up with? Oh, uh, I got a 12. Oh, well, okay. Well, then, <laughs> never mind. There's no effect for you at all. She yeah, just you, danced around you the You just, feet. like, dance around no problem. <laughs> Uh, and you don't need to make it because you're you're hidden off to the side. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sneaky uh, sneak. Okay, all right, who's up? I'm gonna take aim and try to shoot one of its red fucking eyes. Aim for the antenna. <laughs> <laughs> no, get it! It worked out well last time. Uh, five, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Nice. Aiming for the eyes. <laughs> 11. Okay, and you don't want to re-roll it, do you? Um. Actually, I think you just No, I, I shot, I shot the other, I shot the one that he, I'm shooting oh, the one you're that shooting he was the on, one the one that's oh, okay. like. okay, gotcha, so not the one that's So not the one that's weakened. Piercing. Okay, 11, got it. Plus one piercing, in the eye, if that does anything. Uh, if it takes away some of its sight. <laughs> um, it, it seems to go even more berserk. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's bloody eye that like just starts leaking lava. <laughs> of course it does. They're filled it, with lava. <laughs> yeah, they are <laughs> filled with me, lava. I feel really bad for this beetle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, it's not an animal. Speaking. Oh, stop 
not poking it. Okay. Oh boy, that is uh, poking it is very far from what I would describe being shot with a gun. <laughs> yeah. Gouging its eyes out. I was going to say it with like, arrows and tears. Emma really likes to gouge eyes. <laughs> yeah. I'm Ripping finding. Off of appendages. If you're having trouble like killing secrets and, and fire eyes. Yeah, and fire eyes. <laughs> secrets and fire eyes. If you're having this giant beetle, just pretend it's this big and in your bed. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, gross. <laughs> gross. <Yeah. laughs> All right, who's up next? I will, um, Hrothgar will, will heroically force the spikes of thing out of his arm, assuming it's still in there, yeah. and then we'll rip off the entire leg oh, and wow. club it with it. <laughs> I love it. All right, roll me a hack and what's, what's the point of having an 18 strength? If you can't, if you can't do can't that, If you can't bludgeon yeah. something with its own limb. All right, green dice. Ha! Okay, not bad. Nine. Nine. Okay, so... Uh, right on the edge there. As you... So unfortunately, as you're pulling this thing out of you, you realize that. So you you successfully mm -hmm. you, you pull this this spiky barbed leg out of you, and it's at that moment that more you more spikes on it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it hurts a lot as you pull it out. But ah. it's funny you didn't even notice you're not until now. To pull things out. <laughs> you didn't even notice till now, but it's because you're <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you're. Uh, uh, your eye line, your your line of sight was was blocked because of this giant spike in you. But as you pull it out, you can now see that there's another one uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> right in your side here. Okay. And you realize you can totally break this leg off if you want to. But if you do that, it's gonna lose its balance and might this one here might puncture in even further into you if you choose to do that. Oh so, boy. So it's gonna be even more painful than what you're already dealing with. But if you choose to do so, you can complete your action. Mm. And if I choose not to complete my action, what happens? Then you can basically roll out of the way safely, but that'll be your action. Okay. Uh, basically, seven to nine means complications. Yes, means you have to make a choice. It's a good complication. Um, hmm. What's Yellen doing? Uh, Yellen, where are you? <laughs> good, wh yeah, where's looking Yellen? around. <laughs> I can't see with this blood on my eyes. Blood on my face. <laughs> my own blood. <laughs> my own blood. Yeah. yeah, it is. The vast majority of it is your blood. Does Yellen look like Yellen's about to... Uh, is I mean, Speedle going to get Yellen if I don't finish it off? The, it doesn't seem to be focusing on Yellen. <laughs> it's focused on you. Yeah, you're the one that ripped its antenna out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then I will... Uh, no, I'm a crazy Ross barbarian. <laughs> Smash it out. All right, so you, you tear my body apart. All right, and, uh, so, uh, so you... It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Yeah, so you bust its leg and then make your uh, make your hack and slash. Or no, that is your hack and slash. Make your damage roll. Okay, make your damage roll. So then roll 1d10 plus 1d8 plus 2. Yeah, it's a, you do really good damage. Hopefully. Yes, I do. Uh, 15, 16, 17 points of damage. Nice. Wow, you do. <laughs> oh, when, when my organs get pierced, it makes me angry! <laughs> I get it. That makes a lot of people yeah. angry. Yeah, it's smash. Uh, rip the whole thing off. Thank goodness you missed your heart, because that's the most important one. But it would be he would, right. that would also make him the angriest. <laughs> Leap up it into would. the air. Well, I don't know. If it pierced my heart, I may not be saying <laughs> anything at this point. <laughs> Leap up into the air, smash it over its stupid antenna's head. Um, <laughs> And this googly eye. It's like a bloody eye. <laughs> yeah. Lava eye. Um, <laughs> hopefully just club it to death. Okay, oh, so uh, so in fact it it does uh, it does die as you <laughs> as you finish beating it to death with its own leg. Oh satisfied. But it falls on top of you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Making that 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 kidney wound even worse oh. now, and it pushes through the rest. Of, it pushes <laughs> all the way through your kidney. <laughs> yeah. So you uh, you take. Uh, <laughs> You know what? It's dead, so I would say that would be a little. It's not. Uh, it doesn't have its own strength behind it, so we'll just say. Its does weight. its body? <laughs> the lower. Yeah, oh, I'm being trying to be friendly here. Um, no, just go for it. We'll say it's. Uh, you know, it'll be the lower of two d10, so it has disadvantage on this die. Okay, all right. all right. You were just complaining about not killing any characters. So I don't know. Oh, don't worry. I have more. Oh, okay, that's true. This this it's encounter, by the way. Did not exist. It's I not planned. This is this is chat. That happens a lot. Doing. Yeah, that happens, happens a lot. So a lot. do the lower of a seven or an eight. Oh gosh. Oh boy. So Yikes. seven. Let's do seven. Boy, I am. You didn't look crappy now. Re but reduce I my armor though. I get to apply my armor, so I take yeah. two. I right. mean, that is a huge. Uh, that's one thing about being a fighter is you can have a ridiculous armor. That armor is crazy. Oh, lost another kidney. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that's all right. At least I have four left. <laughs> this all of the day in the life of a barbarian. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, yeah, because <laughs> because so many because so many people uh, love Rothgar, he's had do uh, kidneys donated to him <laughs> right. over the years. Be like, I love you so much. Of course, I'll give you a kidney. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Every time I'll you give come you my back. last kidney. Well, at least that's how I interpret. Yeah. Their, that's how I interpret their last words. Anyway. 
Take. You want me to have your kidney, right? Take. Your yeah. kidney? Sure, thank you. <laughs> Always, uh, Rothgar, please. Tell my wife that it was okay that I took your kidney. I will do so. That you saved my life by donating me your kidney. Okay, well that's it for Rothgar anyway. All right. Um, I think we got Ember. We got. Did we get Yenna? Yeah, I just. Okay. I poorly spout. Lore. Oh, that's right. You're spouting lore. Okay, and Nick. Gave us some really good ideas. Yeah. Um, well, we workshopped it. It didn't go exactly how we wanted. Yeah, it's but fun. you know, it's okay. You gotta give things a shot. What, so what do we have going on? We have we have one dead beetle. Yeah. Two dead beetles. We have well, two, two dead, dead beetles. Two, the other yeah. one did die? Uh, the okay. one died from the meteor that smashed yeah. into it. The other oh, one right. died from being killed with its own leg. So there's, being bludgeoned with its own limb. Yeah, so now there's there's a beetle which is slightly wounded, and now uh, all six of the Thrykreen off, uh, from it have jumped off of, or kind of repelled uh, off of its back, and are swarming. Uh, six of them are, are swarming towards you two, of and then the uh, the beetle that just crashed to the ground. Uh, the ones are hopping off and, and moving towards you. So there are six Thrykreen that notice you and are very quickly moving towards you. Yeah. Well, you can't <laughs> you can't sneak up on me. Mm. I have shoot first. So uh, let's see. I'm gonna use my I'll use my bow because I want to try to hit one of them before they get to me. Absolutely. Um, so, I don't think I need to poison them or anything like that. So I'm just going to try to shoot them with my bow. Okay, add dex. Bow it up. That's the 2d6, right? Yep. All right. 11. All right, success. <clears throat> okay, and then if I hit with a ranged, I get an additional plus two damage. Yep, from being a halfling. Okay. Um, so you just add But I don't have my backstab, No, right? you can't backstab okay. on this one. So it's just a d8. Plus two. Plus my two. Eight. Wow. Nine, ten. All right, so you, uh, yeah, you absolutely, uh, you knock one. Your bow is not all that impressive because it's dark sun. The weapons are kind of shoddy. But it, you would think but that But my this, aim is Your aim is <laughs> so good. <laughs> And you like you would think this was fired by like a, a composite <coughs> bow because the arrow just goes whistling and right between the eyes the thrycreen falls over dead. Nice. There are still five of them though. I laugh. <laughs> okay, you're fine with that. You're like these are not animals. I can kill them, <laughs> no problem. Yeah. But these beetles don't know what they're right. up uh, up against. They're they don't only know what bad they're doing. owners, not bad animals. Good call. Well, you know, I just hate the all of the the breed discrimination that happens in, <laughs> right. in Dark Sun. It's like, listen, yeah, it's a beetle that breathes lava, <laughs> but if the owner trained it properly, it wouldn't be an issue. It wouldn't be spewing <laughs> molten everywhere. I mean, okay. Yeah. Yenin trained Nikita very well. It's Nikita. She yeah. Beetle FM. <laughs> Nikita is his baby fire beetle. Oh. It's about the size of a mini horse. Yeah. Oh. We use it as a pack animal. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that's the round. A who's up, who's up next? Uh, there, there are three on you and three on you that are like not quite in melee with you, but very close. Uh, and then there are five that are a little further away from you. Uh, you're standing next to a giant beetle corpse. Mm -hmm. I think it's on me. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. For, as it as pin. it punctured your your <laughs> kidney, <laughs> <laughs> you're just doing. Just trying to work yeah. it out. Just get some reps in while you wait. Just getting some reps in. Can I run up <laughs> onto the dead? Not the one beetle. on top of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, Ember doesn't like, weigh a lot. He's, no. he's doing reps. He's okay. Yeah. It's like the uh, it's like the what is it the the pee under the mattress? It's like you can no. just barely notice. The straw yeah. that broke the camel's back. Yeah, that's a much better metaphor. She jumps up and like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna spend my grit point. And rapid fire and shoot two of the Thrykreon coming okay. my way. Five, six, nine. nine. Okay. Um, as you as you run up on onto the beetle to do that, you take a take a second because you actually you're you're unfortunately they caught you at the worst time and you had just spent the remaining. Uh, uh, shots so you're like reloading and you have to take your focus away for just a minute to reload and as you reload you see these two charging up towards you uh, so you lost track of the third one and you don't know where the third one is at okay but okay. you can make okay. your damage roll All right. 16 nice wow <laughs> wow okay yeah so you uh, knock out both of them unfortunately uh, as you as you kill both of them one just <laughs> 
jumps Bails. on your back. Oh, okay. uh, and so there's oh. a dry crane on your back, and it, it has one of it, it has a just a sharpened stick spear, essentially, and just jams it in your side. <laughs> and that'll be higher of 2d8. Okay. Um, so now that we're like halfway through this battle, I'm gonna plead ignorance. What's a thigh cream? Uh, a thigh cream, <laughs> they're like, um, Alex played one one time, they're like um, praying mantis people. Okay. Yeah. Were you there for Krithik? No. Mm, oh, no. She not bad Krithik. at all. Yeah. Uh, okay, and so it, those, and it can those be reduced by the... armor if you have armor. I don't have armor. So those yeah. are the things that are on top of the giant mold. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, they're praying mantis people. Got it. They're huge. They, you know, they have. Actually, no, they have uh, forearms. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They look like Zorak. Yeah. Yes, they look a bit like Zorak. There's no wonder. Thrykreen are oh, nice. really cool. They are yeah, cool. they are cool. They're my favorite. They're, they're also very uh, psionic. They have a lot more psionic abilities than the other races on Athos, Dark Sun. And they probably think they're so and cool. And Sean they do. loves when you name them and adopt them as your <laughs> campaign's pet. <laughs> <laughs> if I, I don't think we've ever talked about this, but if I deal a killing blow on rapid fire, mm -hmm. like I killed those two, do I get two grit points or one? Because I get a grit point every time I deal a killing blow. Um, uh, no, I would say it counts one. as one. Okay. One grit point, yeah. That's what I figured. But. Yeah, because it basically lets you get the grit point right. back. Right, right. That you that spent, you spent. which is nice. Okay, so, uh, I think that was, what the fuck was that? That was, a f you're the first one to go, right? Yeah. All right, so Yenin, Hrothgar, Nyx? Chris. No. Uh, no, Nyx went, so it's I just did. Hrothgar yeah. and Yenin. Yeah, okay. Um, I looked to Yenin, yelling. <laughs> oh, Yenin. You, almost, you almost called him the wrong name. I know, almost. <laughs> the, the wrong. You're beginning to confuse me, Yelin. <laughs> it's all the blood loss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's disoriented. <laughs> I heave the beetle up off of me. Slide out. Where's my lasso? Here it is. As always, at my side. Just like um, bleeding up, <laughs> just <laughs> like gushing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not has not slowed down at all. Yeah, I'm getting to feel a bit lightheaded. That's fine. Um, are there any? Uh, there, there are three right around Yellen. And three yeah. on you. Yes. Yeah. Take five actually moving towards. Yeah, five. There are five moving towards uh, Nix. Three that are just right around oh. uh, Yellen, and there's one okay. just on on uh, on her back. Looks like you have a choice. It's a bit of a quandary because I have sworn to protect Yellen, but I also will to always a have. Extent, <laughs> I, will, I will also always have your back. Yeah. I think sworn to protect Yellen. I've got to go for Yellen. Uh, yes. Yellen, look out! Yes. <laughs> As if he doesn't know that they're coming. Yeah, I'm, like, oh, I'm like slowly backing up, and then this, you just like land on them. <laughs> I always have your back, but you're like a comrade. You can handle yourself, but yelling. It's like yelling an is soft, and I will make him. This conversation exactly. is happening, and Ember's like, "Yeah, no, I'm good though." Yeah. <laughs> you're like, you're like That's fine. <laughs> Ember's like, "I'm actively the only one being stabbed." And he's like, "It's for two non-currently combat people. Should I go help now?" Right. I also like can't hold the weight. <laughs> Just like right. crumbling. Yeah. I'm going to call yeah, for you're like yelling. 65 pounds. This thing's 120. <laughs> Yikes. No big deal. It's fine. I'm going to call for Yellen. I'm always getting eaten by something. Yellen, hit the ground! And I'm going, don't fail me now. Magic lasso! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to expand it out as big as I can. I'm going to try and get, because oh, there's three of them kind of around him in conflict with him. Yeah, you could you could maybe you could maybe get the three of them without getting Yen in here. That's the hope. All right, uh, make me a hack and slash. Hack and slash. <laughs> don't fail me now, magic lasso. Ooh. Ooh. Do I reroll that one, or are we? I'll guess. give it to you. Uh, so that's an 11. Okay, so you successfully uh, grab all three of these Thrykreen and pull them uh, back towards you. <laughs> <laughs> as you as as you as you pull them back, the Thrykreen do all. Uh, they're able to push out of the the bonds. So now these three Thrykreen are just all three directly next to you, and they are they're loose. But you can roll your damage. I can do damage as well. Yeah. We'll see if they're loose or not. Uh, loose Deep tanks. Yes, D8, D8. D8. plus two. two. Actually, plus one, because I reset it slightly. Uh -huh. Sorry. Should have subtracted that from my last That's one. That's okay. That was a seven, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I knocked over great. Uh, 12, 13 points of damage. Okay, so. Uh, I also have, sorry, it's a perfectly weighted lasso, so it had, adds precise. 
I can't remember what that app, what, what precise that. means. I'm okay. sorry, I'm not that good at this game. Uh, we'll but it's it. by far. Um, hand me your, hand me your book. Yeah. I'll look yeah. it up. It was for a you. Dom's book, but the Dom's book. Okay. Um, and you, you absolutely. He's not gonna look in his book that he has. You right absolutely there. destroy. <laughs> yeah. You. I don't even know where. It's my, Oh, well, it's underneath. I can't go. I'm not going to go digging through I'm not going to go digging through all my stuff. <laughs> okay. I up a book to look at yeah. another book? Are you crazy? Yeah. No, I haven't seen it. And uh, I need this to be open <laughs> at all times because it's a fourth edition Dark Sun book, which is very useful for running Dungeon World. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you 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 end up, uh, you pull your lasso back and then and then just like throat punch one of them. <laughs> and can the uh, guy go, come here, I have something to teach you about love. Um, but can the lasso tighten around their thin necks? Oh, absolutely. And just pop three madness <laughs> heads off? Oh! Well, you're only able to pop one of their heads okay. off because you can't AOE hack and slash, but you do. Oh, okay. But, but uh, what ends up happening actually is you lasso one of them mm -hmm. and the other two just kind of get tangled up with the one that you lassoed and pulled back towards you. Perfect. And then your lasso just pops off the head of one of them. So there's, ah. there's now two of them uh, next to you that are like even kind of surprised that they're <laughs> where they're at. They're like, oh, this wasn't our plan, but <laughs> then they hey, look here over we are and now. Our friend's head is on the ground. Yeah. All right, works for me. All right, so we've got Yenin now. Okay, uh, how close are they to Nyx? Uh, the five that are near Nyx? Yeah. Uh, they're very close to them. They're like 10 feet away from Nyx. Okay, so. A fireball would work. You could catch all five of them. Yeah. But you would also <laughs> catch Nyx in that fireball, so. Right. She's quick. Uh, okay. <laughs> Am I quicker than a fireball? Uh, I don't know, cause, cause, cause it'll be a bit. If I hit, it's gonna be a meteor from the sky. Oh again. yeah, that's right. It's gonna oh. be a defiling fireball. Yeah. So, so uh, Can I hide under a beetle body. <laughs> you, you know what? If you want to, if you I'm want to, to throw body. a fireball, you could catch. You know, I'll say you could catch two of them. Um, if you wanted to avoid getting nicks. No, nah, I'll just. I'll, okay. I'll no, I'll just kill her. I'll just. I'll <laughs> <laughs> no, we're gonna get all five. Fine. <laughs> nah, I don't like Kelsey that much. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a magic missile. Let's see how that turns out. Uh, that's uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, Pre precise means you can use dex instead of strength when hacking. Well, I don't do that. I better do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I, so I rolled a nine. Okay. Uh, and this is defiling. Okay. Um, Any? Uh, what choice do you want to make for your nine? Uh, I am going to. Ah, uh, jeez. Um, because I can choose to either, uh, on a seven or nine, I can choose to either draw attention to myself, uh, take a negative one on going, or forget the spell. Magic missile is kind of an important thing. Uh, fuck. Uh, I will. I will draw attention to myself, uh, and I guess yeah. Because I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to be at a negative one, um, and I don't want to lose. Magic Missile, which is my bread and butter. So, yep, drawing attention to myself. Okay. Defiling uh, with Magic Missile. Okay, so uh, one of the one of the Thrykreen that is uh, that's on Hrothkar, uh, one of the two turns around and just bolts for you as as he sees these uh, giant purple streaks. Uh, you, you just put your hands up like this and just an array of purple mm -hmm. orbs form above your head and just go firing off towards the towards the Thrykreen that are that are going after Nyx. And uh, roll me uh, roll me two D four and give me the higher of the two. One. Three. Okay, so uh, so three purple orbs just form above your head and and they just streak towards the Thrykreen and three of the Thrykreen just instantly die um, <laughs> from these crazy upgraded magic missiles. Uh, in fact the the orb like Hits them, sinks into their like chest cavity, and then just they implode. They don't explode; they implode <laughs> into this like purple orb, Ooh. and then just it just drops to the ground. And now there's just like a small purple gem on the ground. <laughs> Three of them actually. Uh, not really sure what the consequences of that are going to be, but <laughs> whatever. That's a thing now. Uh, so there are still there are still two Thrykreen. I have those gems. Yeah, yeah. You, you have not a lot of ethics about yeah. stuff like that, so I'm sure you'll keep them. <laughs> So there are still two heading towards Nyx after that, uh, and there's one on you. And the one that's on you uh, just tries to tries to hit you with its singing stick. Thrykreen have these, some of them have these ornately carved uh, quarter stabs that as they spin them, they make singing, uh, whistling sounds. Mm -hmm. And he attempts to bash you, uh, does 2d8 damage. Sorry, the higher of 2d8 damage. Three both times, is that reduced? Reduced by armor, for sure. One damage. 
Oh, nice. right. That's not bad at all. That's a good turn. Yeah, then. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, He's hitting me with a whip. I'm bat. fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then this guy's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? Come on. Oh, uh, these, these guys. We may have been going overboard on these guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, it was like, well, hold on. They, like, these are just Thrycreen. They're not like Sorcerer Kings. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Uh, Yenin is just like, I'm going to pull all of the energy from the universe to destroy these unnamed NPCs, which aren't even that important. <laughs> and it originally well, didn't solar exist flare. when we started the game. <laughs> Listen, if. If you told me I could save these <laughs> defiles for something, I would. But I know. Since I don't have that ability, I got a defile. Yeah, this yes. is one of those. This is one <laughs> of those dance monkey do. dance from the chat. It's just they decide. Uh, they decide. Defiler's got a defile. <laughs> Defiler's got a defile, yo. Right, man. Don't hate the defiler. Hate the game. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> hate I'm the still chat. trying to write that spoof song of Elsa defiling oh, yeah. and yeah. doing "Let It Go" as a defiling oh, that's song. So good. <laughs> nice. Um, that is, oh, I, you know what, actually I forgot to, I really, I actually want to spend my own personal money, uh, and just have Amy write that song, because yes. holy shit, that would be amazing. Um, and Amy's so smart, it, I don't even think it would be that challenging for her. You and Dom's facial hair match now. Yeah. Mm. I just yeah. beat that up. Um, yeah, the, uh, for anybody who's wondering, like, why does this GM have weird <laughs> facial hair? <laughs> it's because on the stream last weekend, um, they the chat donated to for me to shave my face to look like this. And by the way, I have a day job. <laughs> so I went to my day job looking like this for a week <laughs> for you people. Um, but thank you for donating for Alzheimer's Association. All, don all donations go to that? Yes, right. yeah, as well. So thank you for donating uh -huh. today uh, for Alzheimer's Association. And also, one of us did the right thing and wore purple. Oh, so shit. So one of us is, I did not, it did not occur to me that I should do that. Uh, so yeah, but yeah, uh, go purple. purple. But then I was like 45 minutes late, so. Yeah, so it's like. <laughs> uh, Looking for the purple shirt. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what happened. Yeah. Oh, no, there was boy. an accident, and then there was also a parade, so there was nowhere to go. <laughs> I was in my car like, <laughs> I've gone five feet. It's One been 40 minutes. One parade crashed into the other parade. Oh. <laughs> problem. Yeah, it was. I, I I read about the two parades crashing. It was a real tragedy. It was. That's right. So, Amber was not yes. amused. She was just shooting people. Oh, you heart. are you are very much becoming <laughs> your character. Uh, we need to have some. <laughs> we, need, we need to talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have some real concerns. With Nerf guns, though. Nerf guns. Go. Oh, okay. So cool, cool, cool. All right, new round. All right, I'm gonna take out my twin axes. Okay. And just try to. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's a good good call. Yeah, get them. That's your plan. Ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, oh, axes. Impressive. Yeah. Guns and axes. I and mean, when these are these are steel axes. Yeah, which these are, are super impressive. Yeah, yeah, in Dark Sun, wow. well, most everything is stone and obsidian and. I have a steel dagger, bone. steel axes. I have a limited number of steel bullets. Wow, yeah. from a fancy family. Yeah. I love that band though. Guns Nine. And Guns and axes. <laughs> Such a good band. <laughs> It's really misleading though, because it ends up being like soft rock. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yacht rock. Yacht rock. Yacht rock. Yeah. Yeah. Sure yeah. rock. Nine. Nine. Okay. Um, do you have any piercing on those axes? One. One. Okay, that's uh, exactly enough. So yeah, you you end up uh, knocking out the uh, the thrycreen that's on uh, you you. Go like this. <laughs> like, like try no, to rip it off, but not I just, safe. Like, <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> this. <laughs> yep. With your axes. I was like, if I fail, it's gonna go into my neck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Amazingly, you, you do like sever both of the Thrycreen's arms that are around your neck, all the way through its arms, and just enough so that it reaches your leather mm. armor that you're wearing, but doesn't puncture your leather armor, so you are perfectly fine. Mm. And you do like just barely have to pluck the axes out of yeah. the serrations Whoop. that you make in your armor, but not enough to hurt yourself. Nice. So you are safe now. Just like how you planned. Uh, there's one Thrycreen <laughs> on Hrothgar, there's one Thrycreen on Yenin. I think I actually have two on me. One of them disengaged and oh. ran towards him when he cast his spell because he drew attention to himself. Gotcha. Uh, and then there are still two Thrycreen, and at this point they're in melee with you, Nyx. They've, they've engaged mm. and they're right next they've to you. Engaged? They've engaged? Yes. Engagement. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> oh, God. Not that kind of engagement, Rothgar. It's about to be. Yeah. <laughs> Get my lasso ready. Marry me! <laughs> <laughs> In fact, I like that idea. Uh, can I go? You, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to use parlay. 
Oh, um, God. oh my God. To leverage this, uh, so I have um, interrogator. Mm -hmm. When I when I parlay using threats of impending violence as leverage, you may use strength instead of charisma. Okay. So I'm okay. going to <laughs> come striding towards the two, keen on you with my last loud, and I go, "You will be engaged to each other. <laughs> <laughs> you will get engaged for the love of God. Do you understand?" <laughs> Or a maker. Just, you, like, just looming towards them. Yeah. Lasso. With your with your lasso. Like with, your bloody, with your bloody with your bloody lasso and bloody body. Yeah. <laughs> Ember is a little terrified and confused. Yeah, what is this? That's a uh, nine plus three, so twelve. Yeah, that is a huge success. Just like with my blood stained rope. You will be engaged to each other. Are you going to get married now? The th We're just the, like, oh, okay. The thrycreen the thrycreen just kind of like look at each other and like they like hold hands. Hold, hold, hold <laughs> yeah, hold like, hold hold yeah. Hold yeah. Hold they hug, like hug each other. They they both hug like with looking all of your arms. The, all the, so there's there's an eight armed hug now happening. No kiss on the face. On the cheek. <laughs> Rockcar, that's enough. <laughs> they, they both kiss each other on the cheek. They don't. They do not have lips. Um, weirdly. They kiss eyelids. Yeah. They, <laughs> they yeah, butterfly. They butterfly. Kiss. <laughs> yeah. They butterfly. Kiss. Lips, I asked you to kiss. <laughs> Very good. The little man. <laughs> <laughs> They're both so. Uncomfortable. By the power vested in me by the god of love, I now pronounce you Thrykeen and Thrykeen. Go in peace. <laughs> they drop their weapons and retreat. <laughs> You're safe now, Nix. Thanks, Rothgar. As is the sanctity of marriage. <laughs> I want to. Um, the traditional definition of marriage, yeah. as right. it was just We're performed. Just forcing to. <laughs> <laughs> having, <laughs> having seen that and standing, Actually, that is the traditional definition. Yeah, it really marriage, is. Right? Two right. people who do not like each other being, being like, whatever, we have to do this to survive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Forced into a union. Sounds about right. I'm going to parlay with the guy next to me, and okay. I go, if, if you leave now, I will wipe that. From your memory, <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> yes. that's, that's, that's good leverage. Yeah, that is great leverage. Uh, so that's four. Uh, let's see. Six, uh, what am I adding? Plus charisma. Charisma, yeah. Uh, uh, so that's seven. Okay. Um, they need some concrete reassurance. I mean, I definitely can wipe his memory. So you um, I can definitely make it so he doesn't remember that or anything. Else. <laughs> okay, Ever. I'm going to. Uh, he, uh, yeah, he he absolutely um, just. Oh he, he, yes, yes, of course, yes. All right, roll rolling. I'm gonna to play with that a little bit later. <laughs> rolling to wipe his memory. Okay. Head explodes. Uh, let's see, so that's uh, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> okay. A nine. You will not remember any of this. Okay, so you... I didn't tell him that the memory wipe doesn't last very long. Oh. <laughs> um, but this is this this is a spell, that though. That poor yeah. okay. Well, it's my, my psychic power. I'm going to play with it and make it a spell. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, as, uh, so as you're using this, you realize, unfortunately, Thrycreen are even subconsciously, like, very... Psionically defensive, like they have mm. psionic but I got wards that essentially one last built up. Defile thing going exactly. Me, so, so, um, so unfortunately, because of because they're so well trained in psionics, they have wards, psionic wards that are just even subconsciously there that it's difficult to break through. So, as you use your psionic power, you realize you're going to need some more power from elsewhere. So you're like, whatever, time to defile. So you pull. So you see the the earth just go. Uh, black in a 60 yard radius all around you like the ground becomes scorched all of the plants wither and die uh, some of them just turn into dust and as that happens the thrycrane you can tell you just through body language you can tell just forgets and just doesn't know what's going on around him and the as the thrycrane speaks to you psionically it almost seems like the thrycrane has lost uh, like maybe it has forgotten like the past 15 years of its life. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it's speaking to you like a child might. And then as you mm. look around at this caravan camp, you see much the same from all of the people here as well. Oh my God. <laughs> they all seem very, they, they look, these are weathered people that have seen life, right? But they're they all, like... yeah, they're all now like speaking uh, as if they're very young people, you, you're hearing a lot of like teenage type language, you know, a lot of likes and, and like, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, they're, they all gain vocal here? fries. <laughs> yeah, they all gain a vocal fry. They, they all like whatever. And there's like an, uh, that like rebellious attitude. All, but they, 
and then there's that like the dark sun hasn't been beaten into them yet like they think maybe things might be okay like there's just a general job, air bro. of like that you never see with adults in dark sun um, and most children it's like wow these are very young people now so you just wipe the memories of everyone in this camp including all of the <laughs> The well, the the tooth right cream Somehow that got not married. Us, <laughs> the tooth right cream that got married, like they have rings, so like they know they're married to each other. <laughs> I gave them rings. You gave them rings, rings. yeah. Five so they rings. have, yeah, they have rings, so they know that a, they're married to each satchel. other. Hockey like, has all of his <laughs> has all of his uh, <laughs> shackles. You just have all your rings. Exactly, yeah. So many rings, and and so they know they're married to each other, and they're like, okay, we made a commitment, so we have to stick this out. <laughs> but like, what happened, and who are you? So they're gonna have a very interesting story going forward between. Them Maybe as they they'll try fall to figure out their, they may they may fall in love. Good job, Yellen. You've once again have proven yourself to be a true champion of love by <laughs> restoring youthful vigor to all of these these weathered people. They have a new chance now. It's exactly what I intended. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is perfectly yeah. normal. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful, Yellen. Are there any monsters left at this point? No. The camp is safe now. All of us go. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyone who wishes to join us in the legendary free city of Tyr, a place where where enthusiasm like you all have shown in, is welcome. So even even though their memories have been wiped, <laughs> they still they still go the legendary free city of Tyr. I think I've heard of that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> isn't isn't that led by a great council of mages? I. And there's that one douche that's like, you haven't heard of it. <laughs> oh my, oh yeah, no, I, yeah, I city of Tears. Oh my god. I did that, I didn't know that place. Uh, they, they say, uh, isn't that where people have uh, jobs and there's money yes. uh, everywhere? There's money, the people learn to read. And marriages for everyone, there, regardless of <laughs> There is a floating city and a, oh, a, wow. a whole under city. Ooh. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's called under tier. The main. Well, I, like uh, I want to live in the under city. <laughs> <laughs> the main. Uh, the main uh, caravan owner comes up to you and says, "We're all super excited about this. We're like business people, so we know a lot, and we bring a lot to the table. <laughs> so, do you think we could, like, move to tier? Absolutely." This is amazing. Um, we, like, we're totally all going. Just so you know. So yeah, they follow you back to Tyr. Uh, good job, Yelin. You're a good man. And someday I'll remember your true name. As you, so as you get back to Tyr, Tyr is actually even when you're like an hour off, you see smoke rising from the from the city of Tyr. And as you get close to it. the to the well, as you get close, you so see that. <laughs> as you get close, you actually see that the city is surrounded oh. by barbecue pits. Well, by unsurprisingly, <laughs> <Roast> pigs. <laughs> unsurprisingly, the city is surrounded by Lord Krulis's troops, the ones that were not present when you attacked the city last week. Lord but there are, Krulis. but there are actually now, there there is another army that looks significantly different from the other and they uh, they are the other the other army looks like your traditional Templars wearing armor and such this other army is completely bare-chested uh, just wearing loincloths and shouting and yelling and and uh, inspiring each other. Oh, it, don't worry, these are my people. They look like an army of barbarians, <laughs> essentially. Uh, and tattooed, I shouldn't say tattooed, uh, ritual, ritualistically scarified into their chests, you see uh, Saxcar <laughs> on literally every single member God of the uh, uh, of this invading force. Oh, so no. they uh, and they they did that that uh, that thing where you know they cut into the you know they cut themselves to create this and they packed it with ash mm -hmm. so that it the the scars actually kind of overflow and puff out. <laughs> so it it like it's huge. What does that say? Sex car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, until you get close, it is a little unclear. <laughs> Sex cares. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it's some of them didn't go. Some of them the healing didn't take as well. So it's just a, a block of scar. It just looks like a. It's redacted. Yeah. Essentially, it's just redacted scar. But not well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh man. Um, and and then the others like it's it is very clear. Sax car. Those are the the lieutenants are the ones that that, uh, that where time. it's legible. Yeah. <laughs> They had somebody who was literate. Yeah, doing their <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The other people were just like, they make the sound. They're like, looks something like this. They're like, curly snake. <laughs> they're like, that sounds like a snake. So it definitely looks like a snake. A ah. Uh, okay, so it looks like a tongue. <laughs> yeah, and then they just draw it out as it sounds. So, uh, so the city is surrounded by these these two armies and is being invaded as part of our uh, Dark Sun mm. meta game which is mm. that our Patreon backers at the $25 level have armies that they can use oh, wow. to secure more land and to attack other cities. And one of the options is they can send their armies to attack the legendary free city of Tyr. And I oh, thought, wow. you know what? No way are they ever going to want to do that. <laughs> no totally way are they going to want to attack the legendary free city of Tyr. This and it turns out... Time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It turns out that is almost exclusively... <laughs> what they want to do. <laughs> what they want to do. Yenin... Yenin's a bastard. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but he's oh no no in in the in the in the arena of Dark Sun. He's a pretty g decent guy, <laughs> yeah. and he I s very clearly stated my plans. We found these obelisks that would restore the planet, and he's gonna <laughs> l send that send that all over the world and help restore the world. And your thoughts were, let's keep attacking. Yeah. So so who's the real bastard? <laughs> Well, luckily, so you look at the armies arrayed against the legendary free city of Tyr, and you think, yeah, we left a good amount of forces behind, so you know we made the as smart of a choice as we could. But looking at the the they armies can't that are there, us out. well, that's true. But there's also no way with the number of troops that are that are sieging the city that you could hold that off. So either they just arrived, mm. or somehow something has tilted the playing field such that. A siege could even occur and that is the case because as you look at the walls on the city of Tyr uh, there you see uh, there's a, a floating uh, sorcerer king uh, who's who's flying above the city uh, just directing troops and you see these troops wearing uh, bone cage armor mm. and these Templars that are defending your city are from Kiganistan uh, and Kiganis is actually offering his troops to defend the legendary free city of Tyr, which oh. I never thought would happen. No, I didn't. <laughs> no. Uh, so you are actually getting help from somebody in chat yeah. to defend the legendary free city of Tyr. Uh, it comes at a little bit of a cost because these these Templars that Kiganis is directing look... They, it is very problematic. They're like draining the life force out of out of like you see that they have soldiers like regular sh soldiers with them, and you see these Templars like casting spells, defending the walls, and they're just drawing life force from their own troops. Uh, anybody who might have seen like the Warcraft movie, it's like that where it's just like draining the life force from something to like defend. Oh, don't worry, it's not a spoiler, and even if it, it won't make sense when you see it if you don't know Warcraft. <laughs> so uh, I love the movie, but ooh, not very <laughs> friendly to people who've never seen Warcraft or played mm. Warcraft. Definitely anyway. made for fans. Yeah, made like, for fans. Definitely. Love it so yeah. much. <laughs> um, but yeah, just drawing the life force from their soldiers to uh, to defend to defend the walls of, of the city of Tyr. So Kiganis' Templars are very uh, necromantic. Um, Ooh. <laughs> romantic. <laughs> and Next. Uh, something to work with here. Next and romance. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ro romance and love are two different things. Oh, I didn't realize. Well then, well then, these troops may not be up your alley. <laughs> we'll see. Let's all work with them. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so so that's what you see. the The city is surrounded, though. So, not sure how you plan to get in. Um, a mass is there a sewer sort? system? Uh, there. I mean. Or is it the floating? Is this a floating city? Uh, no. There's a city floating above this city. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a smaller city that floats above the city. Uh, There's no one in that city yet. <laughs> yeah, All right. it's just there. Well, it's just there. The base There's yeah. there is a, a portal somewhere to the sewers, but we don't. I forget how we access that. Uh, I can. I have. I still well, have. Do a, you want me to? Uh, Spell Ask my connections. Well, I uh, mm. maybe there's a smuggler's yeah. route. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Huh? Yeah. Do that. Do that. Smuggler's or route. we stage some kind of mass wedding. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think we question already mark, staged mark, a mass wedding mark, today. Get into the city. Profit. <laughs> yes. I figure you were Stanford. probably before we liberated this free city of Tear. There was a va the Veiled Alliance that was like the underground movement. Yeah. You were definitely part of that. Oh yeah. Yeah. For yeah. Sure. Mm. Yeah. You would know Veiled Alliance people. Yeah. Sounds like something that I would know. For yeah. show. This seems like a good plan too. All right. So this is my two d six, right? Yep. Okay. Um, nice. And then what? Do I add anything to this? My charisma. So. Are you spouting lore or are you? It's this is a special thing. So yeah. it's oh. a lore, eleven. It's thing. Once I add my charisma. Oh, nice. Okay. So, nice. so yeah, so that's a ten. Someone plus. has the information just for me. Yeah. So you actually uh, you, you actually just scream it, and someone just <laughs> screams like, back. Yeah, where's my room? Yeah, you're over here. Yeah. Well, you still you still have. Why can't I sneak into the city? You have these caravan caravan people with you. Also, some of the troops, the the small contingent of like uh, special forces that you brought with you to attack. Um, I just go wandering down some dark alley. I'm like, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> just go wandering. Down well, you you actually alley. go find you go find you start walking away from the the city, and you guys are like, what the fuck? Um, and uh, like you go about a quarter mile away, and you see like just there's some a rock outcropping and like a, a little Joshua tree, um, and you just push one rock to the side. There's an opening right there. Uh, you, you drop down inside, and it, it is just a long half mile tunnel uh, that gets you into the city eventually getting you into the sewer systems uh, you know so you have to wade through shit for about 20 minutes uh, but then you're able to pop out which is like up to here Anna oh god <laughs> yeah for you two yeah I'm on his shoulders cause he's I, got I my always, I always he's got my back, back. no yeah, yeah not me wrong. no <laughs> yep. so oh. Ember unfortunately has to wade through shit yeah. shit water which is up it's to like your it's like seeping into my wound I'll oh. hold him in place while you just Please carry do. me yeah. <laughs> yeah so the the shit water is up to your armpits um <laughs> yeah not good I've seen worse this will be yeah. good for you Yellen you, you could use a little toughening up when I was once young. we once we get out, I'm just gonna cast prestige. <laughs> like, oh. You gotta let it no, let it seep in. You really have to. This is life, yelling. This is life. <laughs> Wading through a river of shit. <laughs> this is what it's about. <laughs> At, oh. <laughs> like holding my guns up too, so they like don't get ruined. Yeah. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> yep. So this will make you uh, a real man, yelling. So yeah, you're um, uh, uh, you're don't want to be man. You're all <laughs> <like it. laughs> Um, actually, One step at a time. Uh, actually, yeah. You in, have to be in fact, pragmatic. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna have everybody uh, roll a defy danger for the 20 minutes of shit water that you have to wade through. Oh god. Why? Just because all of us are either stabbed or burned by <laughs> yeah, lava? It's not you'll, safe. You'll get caught up in the shit water. <laughs> shit water. Uh, shit water. Oh, that's okay. great. That's good. Eight. Uh, what, uh, what is our modifier we're going to apply here? Um, constitution? I mean, constitution, unless somebody's got some, a Strength. real Am good... I uh, rolling if I'm getting carried by... Uh, uh, I will let... Uh, I will let him aid you. Okay. Ooh. Which does what? Um, that means you will roll an aid check and add uh, the modifier. So roll 2d6, and the modifier is the number of bonds you have with Nyx. Okay, no. I have zero on my sheet, but she has one on her sheet. One. Oh, okay, I'll give you one anyway, because I'm nice. So you have <laughs> one on your modifier. All right, so I rolled a nine. Okay. And um, is it just whatever our dice add up to? Uh, so, add? You, so you have a plus one on whatever you normally would have. So From. so you ha normally you would add your constitution to whatever you rolled, which is a? Zero. Okay, so instead you're gonna add a one to what you rolled. Okay, cool, so, so I got a six. Okay, so yeah, even though you're on his shoulders and not in the water, mm -hmm. I'm getting real shitty feet. You're, well, <laughs> it's just honestly the stench is just oh, too yeah. much for you, and you just just <laughs> endlessly vomit. Vomit all over. <laughs> but you also yeah. you, you have Jesus. that inspiration or that advantage. Oh, you do have advantage. You, you still have oh, advantage. Yeah. for the well, poop tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to use your advantage from space colonizer, or do you want to vomit endlessly uh, <laughs> down yourself? Or and by extension, back also. And forth forever. <laughs> right. I think you are the I'm yeah, it's going, getting all over him, getting like all over me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The splash—it's splashing onto your companions. You know that thing I said to you about when it's so good. You have another. Oh, I'm so sorry. It 
smell. <laughs> it's in me. <laughs> Literally inside my wounds. <laughs> Do you have a second spell you could cast later when we get out of here? He's gonna get septic. I really, really need something. It's yeah. a cantrip. I can do it. <laughs> right, I, uh, yeah, I got it's in a, me too. I rolled a seven on my. Okay, so I guess I rolled a seven too because I'm using con and not dex. Okay, so I yeah, a seven. Uh, nice. Um, I'm willing to hear arguments for other stuff, but uh, it's got to be pretty good for other for anything other than con. Well, I was gonna try dexterity and just sort of like move about. How wide mm. is it? Like, how wide is our tunnel? Your ninja uh, running no. on it. Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, I was more gonna try to like it, go back and forth. But uh, if I but if it's too wide, I can't do that because I'm small. I it's think. Like, oh, hop back and forth. That's cool. Yeah. yeah I think. Um, ninja warrior staff. Yeah. I think just because of the fact that it's a half a mile long, it's just like not gonna work just, out. Yeah, it's just too much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah you know, I think I think it's ceiling? gotta be. Yeah. I Are think. There oh. Pipes or something. Yeah. Like that? Yeah. I, I could see. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I could do that. Yeah. You I use my decks. intelligence to build a raft out of shit. <laughs> 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 I built this raft out of more of the shit I found. <laughs> so you're. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, you can use your decks. Okay. Does that put you at ten okay. plus? No, it, it still puts me at an eight. Okay, that's fine though. Um, so. Uh, eight and seven, uh, you got a six. Yeah, if, unless I wanted to be Dexy too. Um, yeah, you could try that. Uh, what, so that would put you up to and a nine? Was, yeah, it would put me up to a nine. Okay, well that's better that's than better a than six. Better than vomiting all over so everyone. This yeah. Was, so <laughs> it's just like helping you just by picking you up and putting you on the ceiling, yeah. right? I'm yeah, I'm just like, can Stay I just there. like stand on your shoulders? <laughs> yeah, and then so you two are, are kind of going along the pipes. Unfortunately, because uh, e even Rothgar, actually, uh, Rothgar is, He's just ugh, throwing up. He's just having way too much trouble with the cinch. And you know, the thing about vomiting is when somebody else does it, it can Everyone be contagious. Does it. <laughs> yeah, because you're already like, you two are already struggling with this. So now all three of you are all vomiting. Um, and by the time you get out of this tunnel 20 minutes later, you are all just weak in the knees and dehydrated. So you guys are welcome for me getting us into the city. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, it would have been so much worse to just be. <laughs> I call you guys mass wedding. That's I, the way to go next time. It's a I mass mean, wedding. I, uh, I also so, aim magic and probably could have teleported us. <laughs> you should have thought about that before you hopped down the tunnel into the river of shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's, <sighs> that is a statement of fact. <laughs> okay, so you all have a, uh, a debility to your constitution. Even so me? there's a little... Oh, sorry, not you. Yeah. Um, so you three have a debility to your constitution. So, are sick. so tick that box. There's a little box um, and you'll have a minus one now. Sick. Um, and that's a minus one where? to what we have. Yeah. It's not a... It's hidden. Okay. Oh. Right there. I'm um, going yeah. to so prestidigitize myself. Prestidigitize. Uh, let's see, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My good friend. <laughs> Pretty sure you're him, right? <laughs> <laughs> His eyes watering. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the prestidigitation, please. He's talking to Ember. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> As you're hanging. <laughs> yeah. It's not me, bro. Uh, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, and I will, I guess, uh, lose the spell. So it's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, hey, all right. Thank you. Huh. You're all right, yeah. yeah. I'm just like, no, step back. Yeah. <laughs> no, bring it in for a hug. No, no, no. Thank you so much for that. So, um, as you assess the, the situation in Tyr, the, the great news is the city of Tyr has not been destroyed and overrun, which is exactly what would have happened if it weren't for this clutch save from the sorcerer king Kiganis. So in Kiganis. Yeah. Uh, it's always yeah. nice when the dark god comes to visit us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is still unclear canonically if Kiganis, the sorcerer king, is connected to the dark god Kiganis. Um, or anything surrounding Kiganis, actually. <laughs> uh, anything surrounding Kiganis, it is very murky what role I have decided he plays in this world. But we know that his, yeah, it is very fluid, and his name pops up a lot. That's all we really know for sure. So he's on um, his good side. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because it could be it could be anything. His bad <laughs> sides gets real bad. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, you want to keep Kiganis happy if you can. So... You notice that that Kiganis is actually holding the holding the walls really well, uh, and and is keeping the troops from from getting in. And one of your actually, uh, Quindina r runs up to you and and gives you a, a hail, Sorcerer King. Hail. Uh, we have problems. We have yes. huge problems in the city. We we know this. <laughs> so, 
Um, now, before you tell me problems, what have you what report on what I told you to watch out for? Anyone talking about me? You've oh, been watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. That I, it should have been at the top of my mind. I apologize, Your Excellency. I understand. I understand. We'll get to it later. Okay. I apologize, Your Excellency. Um, oh so the there are Love people. <laughs> There are people who seem to be unhappy with the with the status quo, and they disagree with how you're running things. What but the people the people believe in you. The people uh, believe in you, and and they're wholeheartedly behind you. But there are some rumblings in uh, among the ex uh, Veiled Alliance members in the in the council. They're saying that they're actually ready to abolish the idea of a sorcerer king, and they believe that they can run the city better than a than a sorcerer king. And mm -hmm. at this point, there's several of them on the on the council. It's unclear if there's a majority of them, but there's a movement afoot to take away your leadership. After all the bribes I've given out to them, <laughs> ugh, we'll deal with this later. Have we made contact with, uh, I, I imagine it's too new, but uh, the College of, of Magi we are setting up. I assume it's probably not in any state to defend us. There has been a complication with that. Right. So we set up the <laughs> we set up the College of Magic in the new city, uh, the Over City. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, it turns out that there were people living in that city. It was not clear to us right away, and the city was not empty. In fact, I'm hoping that you can save the college. So there's been an out, uh, not an outbreak. Um, okay, so. The city has people. I in that city, there is a prison. The prison has terrifyingly powerful things and people who have been there for hundreds of years. You know, you didn't check on that. I mean, when, when we took over the city and killed the Undertaker and then flew the city here, we did not check to see if it had underground prison. <laughs> okay, well, that's, there you go. So live and learn. Live and learn. Yeah. We were too busy killing Undertaker and arresting weird bug. <laughs> That's true, yeah. It probably there is an order. That's yeah. Good. yeah. So apparently, so but here's the good news. Uh, we have someone on the inside. There's a there's a prisoner who was just about to be released. It was it was his last day. Um, but he's a <laughs> he's a good guy. Okay, he's on our still side. a functioning parole system. In this <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. He was still on the <laughs> roster to be released. He was on the roster to be released. He wanted to go home to his family. He's a good guy. He served his time. He bought his little girl <laughs> a bunny. A bunny. Right. Yeah. He dug it out of the sewer after you guys sieged the city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have a totally normal relationship. I had a relationship picture of you. <laughs> so if you can, if you can make contact, if you can make contact with this uh, with this dwarf on the inside, then he should uh, he should be able to help you take down the leader uh, that's that's causing this prison revolt and hopefully not have this spill over into the rest of the city. Because FYI, we've been moving a lot of people into the over city to keep them safe from this siege. Mm -hmm. okay. So now the the people of our city that we've I moved I, up I, above are now. I don't know if I told anyone, but I've settled on calling it over tier. Over tier. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, the over tier. My apologies. I will. No, it's sure fine. I don't know if I if that went out yet. I like that. That works. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Over tier. Over tier. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Where exactly is over tier? It's o it's over tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking for over tier. Anyone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's over tier. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and under tier is under tier. It's it's all it makes perfect sense. There's no confusion. That's good. So the city is both cities now are in danger. The twin legendary cities of tier are are in danger, both from within and without. Uh, I don't know. Um, oh, that's amazing. Um, so uh, you see some banners raised and some uh, some siege towers are being erected outside the city of Tyr, uh, and you see the the banners say Saxons. Um, <laughs> so that's what the, the the forces that are arrayed against you are Saxons and um, and unnamed stone people. <laughs> I don't really have a. I, I didn't really ever name space colonizers forces <laughs> other than that they're just his. Uh, I know they're like they have like stone arms and like blade magic, but that's all we know about them. Well, anyway. they also don't have a sorcerer king because we killed him. That's true. At this point, nice. they don't have a sorcerer king uh, commanding them. They're just trying to 
to hey, they're just trying to figure it out as best they can. You know, you got to give them a break. Yeah, you got to give them a break. Just trying to make it in this they're crazy just trying world. to make it in this yeah. crazy world that you created. <laughs> so, all right. So Quindina says, uh, and and then the the last uh, the last thing is. Um, Things are going pretty well in the education system, just so you know. <laughs> also, schools are doing great. Schools are in good shape. The kids, their reading is coming along very well. I would say at this point, uh, of the new generation of kids we've moved into the schools, 80% uh, literacy, which is very high. That's, That's fantastic. Crazy. Yes. I never, never needed to learn how to read, and look at me. You I'm speak the language of love. I read do. The, the language universe, of love. <laughs> the universal language. <laughs> Speaking of, how, how is... Our marriage is continuing unimpeded. Uh, <laughs> yes, um, uh, marriages are going very well in the city of Dark Sun. In fact, thank God. Uh, in fact, uh, our divorce rate is lower than it has ever been. Some people say it's because of uh, because of the steady availability of jobs and that people have a good, stable life and that that there aren't st uh, outside external stresses being put on marriages. And the fact that if you get divorced, um, I hunt you down and kill you. But uh, and it seems uh, most two. of us most of us say that that is unrelated. <laughs> that it's all of those other a factors. A big part of it is our city is constantly under siege and all the husbands keep dying. <laughs> well, sure. Yeah. Lots of widows. Widows have <laughs> increased, but divorce is yeah. down. Divorce is way down. Mm. Yeah, but but again, I think it's because they want to be married. It's not because you're hunting them down. They truly do want to be in love. Oh, if, if, <laughs> they're if, trying really hard yeah. to if, be in love. They really want. Right, they're to making be. it work. They, <laughs> they want to make it work. It works. Can, love will find a way. Love always finds a way. I know Max isn't here, but can we force his character to finally marry Kitty? <laughs> <laughs> yes, whoever that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Max's Max's character proposes to Kitty, and and uh, and Kitty is an actual cat. Uh, no, 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 a prostitute. Would be, would yeah, Kitty is a prostitute, <laughs> and um, and 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 Kitty tears up and puts her hands up to her face, uh, but we don't get an answer. Okay, okay. So we don't know. Tune in next week. Ooh, yeah, it's exciting. Mm. Love. I well, think we, it, we have no love. time to waste yet. <laughs> love. <laughs> do, does 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 Rothgar just every once in a while just say love? <laughs> love. I feel like love. more often than every once in a while. <laughs> yeah. He looks at everyone every like every thirty-five uh, seconds. He every stops. just. Looks wistfully I was going to say at least like two dozen times when we were like <laughs> half a mile <laughs> yeah. underneath the city. Yeah. He was just like, love. Love. <laughs> love. <laughs> love. <laughs> love. <laughs> That's great. You know, we have no time to lose. Uh, the city's in jeopardy. The city is in jeopardy. That means higher divorce rate may come out of it and <laughs> simply can't stand by this. I mean, wouldn't you want people to, to find the love they want? And maybe, maybe divorce is okay. Maybe someone doesn't have to be forced. Maybe. Yeah. You, I barely recognize you anymore. You barely look or sound or act like the yell and I do. <laughs> Don't answer to your name. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, your name it's very possible that after after not having seen Yellen for 20 years, yes. this may not be Yellen, <laughs> just to be clear. <laughs> I mean, uh, either way. I'm not prepared to consider that at this point. <laughs> I get it. Go ahead yeah. and just block it out. Name starts with a Y. How many people's names start with a Y? It's a very it's uncommon, a common letter. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't read exactly. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so why? What? Hmm? I read he his heart, and it is a good heart. Or so he has told me. <laughs> <laughs> According to these murals. Yeah. That's uh, true. The murals are very clear. Yeah. Well, can we, can we, get, but how do we get to this flying city that's possibly taken over by insane prisoners? I mean, there's. Yeah, he's set up a teleportation system. Yeah. yeah. We can just go in there. Well, I guess let's do that. Yeah. <laughs> we can, well, let's just do that then. That sounds yeah. like no obstacle at all. Yeah. Oh, was there supposed to be uh, some sort of uh, climactic <laughs> moment? Oh, no. It's just a completely uninteresting <laughs> moment. Okay. I got it. Let's go. <laughs> So you you uh, you teleport up into into. I mean, over if you here. want, there is a rope. Like if you want to. A just rope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's it's a. It's also covered in shit. I'll meet, <laughs> I'll meet you up there. Yeah. You guys walk through the hotel. In like a week and a half. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I imagine, uh, but you're doing it like without your legs. Yeah. You're just, just like just arm over arm arm. I do need a little bit of work. <laughs> yeah. Chronos yeah. style. Yes. Yeah, so it's it's just one single rope, which is forty stories tall, <laughs> and you just you just gym just class. Legs dangling down. Oh, yeah, down. you just gym class, run up that thing, no trouble at all. Yeah, I get up to the, I get up to the top about the same time you guys teleported. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a bell. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So he starts he starts climbing. You guys get lunch. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's right. Yeah. It, you guys had your ultimate we lawyer are moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You guys. Uh, you guys. We're quite thirsty. Uh, through that tunnel, yeah. you know, nothing yeah. works up an appetite mm-hmm. like a tunnel of poo. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. You are and extremely just hungry. Everybody not empty. You're right? like, oh, we yeah. just need calories. <laughs> we vomited profusely. Um, so you guys go to. Speaking uh, of which, anyone want some trail mix? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of so vomit, good. can I have some nuts? Um, There's I, also uh, some peanut butter filled pretzels. I'm always upset when trail mix has um, uh, M&Ms in it. I'm like, don't give me candy. I want candy. Don't tell them not to give us candy. But that's not trail mix. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just trail mix is... But it isn't trail mix. It is trek mix. Oh. Yeah. So. Well, that, that's and good. And when you're on a trek, you need some candy. Yeah. That's true. I was gonna try to think of something more clever to say, but I couldn't. Yes. You mean granola? Shit, I don't have anything. It's great. It's uh, a a good reference. It's it's like just peanuts and uh, raisins, raisins. peanuts, something. That's it. Granola, oats, oats, raisins, raisins peanuts. That's what I was thinking. Granola and oats. I know, because I'm like, aren't those the same? Can someone give me a good bag of uncooked oats? (laughs) 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 Okay. Nom 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 nom. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, um, canonically, I have really messed up Uh-oh. about Krulis's soldiers. Uh oh. Okay. Krulis's soldiers, which is space colonizer, his soldiers are called the Stone Fisted Beastmen of Ufir. Mm. Oh, yeah. That bitch is. They do not have blade magic. Krulis, the, the Sorcerer King, uses blade magic. The soldiers are stone fisted because Krulis, oh, that's right. Krulis keeps all the weapons for himself. So he. <laughs> uh, all so of, can we have a, just a knife? Nope. Anything. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> all of the weapons are for mine. Him. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a huge stock. I just need yeah. to cut my steak. No. No. You're not allowed to have. You'll know it like a dog. If someone if someone sharpens a spoon, Brulis <laughs> is there to take it. <laughs> After he stabs you with it. Yeah. Give me your teeth. Too sharp. <laughs> Too sharp. Fucking sharp. <laughs> um. Yeah. Actually, they do have sharp teeth. Uh, yeah, because they only yeah, out of necessity because <laughs> yeah. they're gnawing on steak all the time. <laughs> okay, so they file them down like you, Christopher Walken. Yeah. So yeah. you yeah. you stop at the, the Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You stop at the That's bodega and get a bodega oh, sandwich. Um, well, now I have more. On your uh, <laughs> on your way wait, wait. to uh, over t- over tier. Okay, over tier. Anything anything special in your bodega sandwiches? Anybody wanna? I mean, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but um, Yenin's uh, kind of a vegetarian now. He was mm. just trying to, you know. Oh. I'll have his meat. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh, well, if he's not having his, can I have twice as much? <laughs> Rothgar uh, snatches a passing bird out of the air as he climbs and just shut that into his mouth. That's <laughs> what so he eats as he climbs up. Well, everything that I have has some sort of secret ingredient. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is it shit? <laughs> I'm not telling. No, she's like slowly poisoning herself, like, just so that she builds up an right. immunity. So yeah. Iocane okay, powder, yeah, that's important. Exactly, yeah. because Smart. you never know that's right. when I'm going to be dueling with someone. Yeah, poisoned Sicilian lines. when life is on the line. Yeah, yeah. you don't mess with a Sicilian when life. Is one of the classic blunders. When of all time. death is on the line. <laughs> when death is on the line. Yeah. Or, or when life is on the line. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. <laughs> it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah. But when love is on the line, you pick up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, sweating badly. Um, yeah, so you're just... At, but luckily you're not hungry because you did grab a... a I was going to say, I have a secret yeah. sandwich to bring to Rock there. Oh, that's Whoa. nice of you. Secret sandwich. Yes. Uh, and, and Why is it a secret? <laughs> yeah. Because everything was. <laughs> How is it a secret? So you bought it without them noticing. Right. It. And then I hit Snuck it. Snuck it out of the restaurant. Right. And then they're just like, hey, can right. you want a sandwich? Yeah. yeah. Well, I like it. I'll take that yeah. secret that's sandwich. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a secret in every way. I don't yeah. need a secret sandwich I've eaten. Unnecessarily elaborate. I have eaten of raw bird, but was that... Is that aioli on that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sun-dried yeah. tomatoes? Yeah, it is. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> um, some good cold cuts, too. <sighs> it's a good sandwich. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's like really fresh raptor meat. And we grow our own vegetables here in under tier, so. Mm. Yeah, everything is locally sourced. Everything is this hydroponically is farmed. <laughs> this is really yeah. fresh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. very unusual for Darkson to have such good bread. vegetables. Yeah. 
That, is, that explains some of the things I've seen floating around in the sewers down there. I have not even. <laughs> <laughs> this is a well fed populace. Yeah, it's really <laughs> solid turrets. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody has nice, nice, healthy foods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there's. Uh, I've always said that Yenin created a movement. <laughs> 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 so, uh, as you get to Overtier, you follow Quindiana's directions to the to this prison that's uh, in the. Oh, this is so uh, convoluted. So, in the <laughs> underneath part of the Overtier, <laughs> so in the in the underneath part of the floating Overtier city is under where over the tier. under Overtier. Mm -hmm. What's under over tier on this encounter? I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so you uh, you find the the prison, which is in the under part of over tier. Yes. And I fucking hate this. Uh, anyway, so you yeah. you find the you find the warden, and the the warden is like standing just outside of of the prison, and uh, and he approaches you. It's a half elf. He says, "Okay, uh, I've done an amazing job so far. Just so you know, like no no need to be worried or concerned. There are some problems inside, but." I have contained this, and that I think is the most important thing to remember, sir. The uh, this uh, he points back. This ward right here uh, will keep uh, all of the prisoners inside of the prison, so they cannot get out. There is no problem. That being said, um, that this ward that we have in place is controlled by me in my office, which is inside the prison. <laughs> So, but they don't know about that yet, as near as I can tell, because the ward is still up, so we should pretty much, I think, be safe Until forever. Indefinitely. <laughs> indefinitely. Um, so, goodbye. <laughs> so, everything's fine. Um, and back down this ship. If rope. you don't mind, I would love to stay uh, in the, the lower legendary free city of Tyr for the time being, because again, everything's safe. Uh, the lower legendary city of free Tyr, the lower under legendary city of Tyr. I would like to stay in... Or the, the lower <laughs> under <laughs> section of the upper city of Tyr. Under Tyr or sub over Tyr? Are, are you saying you want to, you're saying you want to stay, you want to stay Tyr? Or do you want to stay here? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm looking to go to Tyr, but I want to go to... Well, you're already Tyr. No, I, I realize that, but what I'm, I want to go to... I don't want to stay... I, okay, I want to leave... I want to leave here to go to Tyr. Can't be any clearer about it. Um, I don't want to go to under tier. I just want to go under tier. Uh, under here. Under this tier. Under this. I want to go under this tier, but I want to be over under tier. Over the other tier. <laughs> All right. You know what? We've got to come up with a better naming system, guys. Sub under tier. Blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> Throw him under over the warden, tier. <laughs> the warden goes flying off the <laughs> off the edge of the of, of the city. So I'm a little overzealous, but he's gotten his wish, I think. You're feisty after that sandwich. <laughs> it was a good sandwich. <laughs> Uh, I'm, getting, I'm getting the hankering for some marriage. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying. All that eating make me hungry for marriage. <laughs> Time to marry something. Rothgar, I had. As he goes flying off the edge, he says, I had slightly more exposition. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, I had questions. Get him with your lasso. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah lasso. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 you know what? No, I'm not going to let you off that easy. Make me a uh, <laughs> make me a hack and slash. Okay, all right. <laughs> I wasn't doing <there. laughs> Let this be a lesson to you. Oh, no. Oh, uh, play it like it lands, though, right? Yep, play it like it lands. Great. So that's a, uh, hey, that's a 13. Wow. Okay, yeah. So so you throw him off <laughs> the edge. I'm like, Rothgar, I had questions for him. You're like, oh, oh, which one's the other? Oh, but, uh, nah. And just yank my the bad, warden my back bad, in. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. The, the warden's like, the warden is like, thank you for saving me, Sorcerer King, from this from this barbarian. Yeah. Um, so yes, thank you. I, I had questions. Sorry about this. Um. So Sorry about that. If, if you, you are the only one who can control a uh, ward? No, anyone can control it, but it's inside my office. My office oh, is so locked. Oh, so we don't need you. Well, no. <laughs> 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 no, that was not a throwing over the edge, not. He goes, he goes flying off the edge and just plummets to his death. <laughs> You uh, said we didn't need him. I feel like that could have gone a lot smoother. Therefore, yeah. that means throw him over the edge of the flying city. I mean, yes? we are still a city of laws. Of love? More laws. <laughs> and love. And dreams and hope and freedom to the prison. <laughs> so you yeah, so you look at the... I mean, that dude has none of those now. No. Not love, oh, he's not freedom dreams. Oh, no, hope. he doesn't have freedom anymore. Uh, he did have freedom free for a fallen. moment. Yeah. yeah. Free fallen. <laughs> I'm free... <laughs> Free fallen. You could have landed uh, on someone. 
we yeah, probably we definitely did. Need, we need. We definitely need more singing and songs on on this version of Saving Throw Show, <laughs> yeah. specifically just by David Crennan. <laughs> We're just gonna bring in David to sing. Yeah. Yes, well, that's uh, just my, uh, my apologies. We are never having you back to play, but we are <laughs> always having you back to sing. As Rothgar. Yeah, as Rothgar. You'll play the character Rothgar. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rothgar. <laughs> yeah, right. What well, we do? We'll live. Yeah, Rothgar. we do have our uh, like a radio set up throughout, so we just that's have true. you yeah. singing songs in the city. <laughs> Everybody just turn the radio on on your pit boy. I'd like to dedicate this next one to the warden. I'm free, free, far. All of a sudden, Rothgar is just on. This is morning cart time (laughs) with Rothgar. Good morning, over to you. It's Rothgar and the warden here. (laughs) Yell at him. I worry Uh, about your ability to survive in this tough world. Sometimes you simply need to throw a man over the edge of a city when. I. I worry when about your sanity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you would possibly question my sanity. I uh, worship the love god and there's plenty of gods in this world, I'm pretty sure, right? No, there gods are, are there a are, joke. <laughs> yeah, there are almost no gods, and <laughs> people who believe in gods are considered crazy. Oh. Yeah. Except for that tiny little chapel that I went to where I met the goddess of love. There are elements. There's Kiganus, who we all know for a fact is real. Yeah. I have seen them. That's the only reason people are okay with that god, is because, like, well, physically we've seen him, so... <laughs> he's here tearing shit up. <laughs> yeah. People are very atheist. In I don't know if it's like he's an avatar of Kiganus or what it is, but I, I'm a believer. Yep. Okay, well, so <laughs> Maybe don't ask a lot of questions about yeah. that. No. But that being said, there are there are paladins who were... Paladins are, are the most religious among, you know, the people they, of Dark As Sun. they would be. Um, and those paladins are seen as insane because they worship <laughs> just worshiping a god in and of itself without any further information is enough for people to be like he's off <laughs> yes. she is crazy <laughs> uh, just worshiping and then going into all the specifics of your <laughs> of your that adds to it <laughs> that adds god. to the yeah exactly. well we know I love god is obviously real because I worship her him Kiganus is a god sure. the only one we have any proof of so ergo Kiganus must be a love god. Oh, so oh, that uh, is a taking a turn. Oh, that is a That's very new. difficult. A yeah, that is a very difficult <laughs> argument to go against, I think, though. I think we have different. Like you have. New, it's like oddly logical. You are, yeah, it it's is oddly yeah. logical. You are very <laughs> uh, non-linear. Yes. I use the word ergo. It all works in tracks. Yeah. You are very New Testament Kiganus. I'm very <laughs> Old Testament <laughs> Kiganus. Well, we'll yeah. one day we are going to get Kiganus. We'll find him, we'll question him, and then we will prove the... <laughs> After much <of> torture! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kiganis doesn't ask much, just uh, complete unbending loyalty, and that's where the love comes from. Love. Love. The unbending love loyalty with no question. When questions I asked. demand yes. that, I am tired of it. <laughs> <laughs> Is. So you have a you have a magical ward in front of you. Uh, what does it look? Is it like a wall of energy? Yeah, it's thing? it's the yeah it's just a the door is is just kind of a, your standard stone portal wide open, but it's just a purple sheen uh, of energy, and okay. it's translucent, so you can see inside. Mm-hmm. You see runes carved on the on the door Ooh. jam, essentially. Do I think we could pass through this without taking it down? Like, is it like a one-way barrier? Like, things can go in but not out? Make me an intelligence Ooh, spout check. Lore. Yeah, spout lore. Ooh. Ooh. Um, nine. nine. Um, I, I think we could very easily pass through this without having to alter it. There's someone who could ask about this. As you as you look at it, you kind of investigate the runes and read about it, and you're like, yeah, it's definitely you can definitely pass through without any difficulty at all. In fact, um, you can also pass the other way without any difficulty at all. There's some sort of uh, mm. there's some sort of uh, either the it's something are marked yeah they're or marked or they wear something something is preventing them some, from being able to come through this. There's some third factor. Mm-hmm. So we can go through. Yes. Then follow me, comrades. We go to something. <laughs> we go to a new place. <laughs> I think we're. Oh, well, I'm going to marry some prisoners. But okay. <laughs> Let's go. There. That grammatically, that can mean a couple of different things. <laughs> yep. Uh, I assume it means you're going to have them marry each other. Yeah, however it worked out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could probably. Love flourishes in the prison. Give them a chance to a conjugal visit. You'll never see more love in your. That's probably true. <laughs> it's <laughs> deeply unsettling, but probably true. There we go. Okay, so I, I march on. Yeah, so you lead the way in. Um, and, and yeah, you see uh, 
the the very first uh, area inside that you see is it's actually a fairly well tended garden. It's it's beautiful. beautiful yeah. Love. Uh, you have walls on all four sides of you, uh, and you you actually see cells overlooking this garden. Oh, this is nice. But nice the cells, prisons. the cells are I all. I open. didn't build it, but oh. I will take credit. Um, <laughs> is is there very uh, any like signage or something clear that would point us towards like the warden's office? Um, warden's uh, office this way. I yeah. mean, you no, but you there's literally only one door right in front of you, right. um, and and it's all just cells here. You don't see any. There's I mean, no would rooms I, here. Would uh, I be like oh, your typical prison layout? Usually, yeah, me, uh, I've broken in and out of my prison in my day. Me a connections check. I'm sure you know or have known prisoners. I don't add anything to that, do I? You add your charisma for connections. For charisma. Well, that doesn't help me. That's a six. Um, yeah, so you definitely have known prisoners, and mm. unfortunately, <laughs> the prisoners mostly the talk about... political sense. <laughs> yeah, th exactly. They're mostly <laughs> political prisoners, and they don't really talk about the layout of the prison so much as, like, wow, sucks in prison. Here's right. another thing that sucks about prison. <laughs> and I'm like, so tell me about the layout. Like, what are these locks about? You know, like, hallways, where they go? And they're yeah, like, you know, they're like really oh, the locks suck. I spend all day in a box, yeah, so like, I don't really know, We didn't get a great look. I don't really know. <laughs> well, Nix, the thing I think about you have the a locks. very skewed view of how prison works. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, the thing well, about the locks, are wandering Nix, about, you know, freely amongst the Occasionally, the, the guards come unlock us and beat us to near death, <laughs> and then lock us again. Yeah. So that's the thing about locks. That's yeah, so we don't walk around an awful lot in the prison. That's the main thing. I want you to I understand about my experience. Okay, that's my point. Of, that's the point of view I represent. <laughs> that's the point of view I represent. <laughs> <laughs> Nameless character says. Uh, so yeah, but you do see you see uh, one door. You also see some stairs leading up to the second level because it's two levels of of cells. You said there are um, cells that seem to open. Like they're the all open onto the courtyard. Is it doors all of the? Uh, uh, they're into? they're bars, um, okay. and so they all look into the. They all face the this garden, but all of them are How also many, open. Like, is it like hundreds of cells or just a couple dozen? Uh, yeah, like uh, less than fifty. Okay, and just looking around, do I see prisoners? Like you see the no cells? people. They're open, no people. Um, okay, quiet. This is just. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. All the cell doors are open. All the cell doors are open. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeren's gonna kind of step into the middle of this garden area. <coughs> how how wide is this kind of place? Like thirty feet wide. Yeah. Okay. And he's just gonna uh, just start calling out. Hello, Yenan, <laughs> uh, social king of the legendary Face City. I would like to talk to uh, whoever's in charge. I'm sure that there is one amongst you, uh, the most powerful, who's taken charge of this situation. And I would like to parlay. Good job, Yenan. <laughs> so as Yenan says this, two arrows strike him. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Make me a defy danger roll. Any way I can assist him on that? Oh. Uh, no, not for you this. Your oh, big no. mouth. Like okay, that, so yeah. luckily these aren't the worst things you've ever seen strike Yenin before. Uh, but it is. Uh, roll me 2d6, take the higher of the two, and add one. Four. And uh, and uh, uh, it does not ignore armor, so you can you can use your armor for that. Um, as somebody who uses a bow, would I be able to track the trajectory of that arrow to Absolutely. see you look where up, that came from? You look up, and mm. both of uh, both of the arrows came from very clearly halfling prisoners. Mm. Yeah, and kind of staggers. I just imagine the both of us like we're like he he looks at the the arrows within him and he goes. I came here to end this quickly and offer pardons, but this is off the table now. They, uh, both of the, uh, both of the halflings, else. yeah, well, actually both of the halflings go running off, um, it, uh, into, they, they were kind of on the sides, hidden in, like, some bushes, and they run and bolt through the, the center door, running away. They don't look like they want to actually fight you. Mm. Mm. Uh, one of them, as, as, uh, one of them is running away, she says, uh, this is our area now. Go away. Uh, get. <laughs> Wait, I have so many questions. <laughs> yeah, that's not very polite. Well, this w I tried. I tried peace. You all watched me try peace. So now they get the stick. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think Yenon only does peaceful things to be able to save. <laughs> well, I tried. I tried. <laughs> he always knows they're going to fail. I kind of yeah. had a feeling if someone came out to parlay, who was also going to get this. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. Yenon's, Yenon's like. Thank you for ooh. revealing yourself. Orb, orb, orb. 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 Yenin, well, the thing is, Yenon, much like characters that I play, will offer, will like offer forth a demand which is very unreasonable. <laughs> Yenon's like, listen, I'm the Sorcerer King. This is my area, so you follow all of these demands and I'll let you live. That's the concession. That's reasonable to me. Yeah, well, it is. It was going to be slightly more reasonable. I was like, uh, pardons all around if you immediately jump into the fray and fight for this city. So anyone who survives gets to not only survive, but walk free. Wise good leadership, Yen. Let us uh, <laughs> hunt down these fiendish fools who would attack you. My bosom pal. <laughs> Did you say bosom pal? That's right. Oh, okay. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> um, bosom buddies. You no, know, yeah, bosom pal. Well, it's been 20 yeah, years, but we pal. used to be good pals. Used to be bosoms. <sighs> right, yes. together. <laughs> jingling, together bosoms. Jingling yeah. together down, <laughs> down the street. Each of us one bosom. <laughs> Two bosoms together, <laughs> one of exactly as they should be. All right, um, so not, I not one, one slightly bigger than the, the other. other. Yeah, the other <laughs> as is as is generally the custom. Yeah. <laughs> so I think Rothgar is going to uh, be incensed by this attack on the person he's sworn to. Of protect. course, rush up those stairs heedlessly after those uh, halflings. Uh, after me! Whoa! So as you go running in without <laughs> any regard like, for what's is. going on around Look you, out. Uh, because because you. You ran so recklessly. You actually are able to catch up into into melee with one of the with one of the halflings. The other one uh, is is a little further away. The one that was yelling. You actually uh, catch up to in the as you run through this doorway. And like turns around. It's like it's our area now. You go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! Oh, I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> yeah, you you tackle this halfling into the wall. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and and the, the, the yell like bring him back, Rogar. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> As that happens, though, um, an ambush occurs outside. So you run into the hallway, so you're uh, away from the rest so of the So here you you'll be safe! Come back! <laughs> at, at this point, uh, at this point uh, a cadre of, of figures stand up in the garden all around the three of you. Whoa. Um, and just, uh, uh, I think we determined this word was fusillade uh, of arrows. Mm. A fusillade of, of arrows just comes raining at you from all around the room and make me a defy danger. You can't catch me by surprise. Nice. Uh, that's a ability thing you have, right? Yeah. What does it say? Um, okay, I'm never caught by surprise. When an enemy would get the drop on me, I get to act first instead. Okay, Ooh. cool. All right. Um, so do you want to... Uh, you wanna? What do you wanna do? Mm, you get to act it. first. Oh, it, you you yeah, like you see these heroes. people about to pop out of the bushes, and you see they're all, they see all have like, like a bows. rustle in a bush, and then you notice that like you can see arrows and bows being uh, being knocked. Okay. So before this happens, Nyx can do something. Um, yeah, and we're clearly just not paying attention to Nick. You, you like, are. La, la, la. Yeah, She's like setting up for something, and well, we're you, like, da, da, da. you're distracted by <laughs> Rothgar just barreling off to catch this uh, this halfling, and you're both like, nice, got this taken care I of. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Um, I am just going. So I see the rustle in the bush and kind of the bow lifting out of yeah, the branches. Yeah, all around you. Yeah. And um, let's see. Whichever one looks like the biggest movement, so I'll mm -hmm. just like guess whichever is the biggest creature. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna fucking knock an arrow and All right, shoot so you're gonna shoot first. Yeah, I am gonna shoot first. I'm gonna use shoot first to- <laughs> Shoot first. Shoot first. <laughs> Got it, cool, good call. Yeah. All right, plus dex. Do it. Uh, nine. Okay, so you, you can absolutely do that. You see one that's clearly like a, Actually, you see a large green, uh, green-skinned creature with tusks coming out of its lower jaw, and you have never seen a creature that looks like that before. Kill it! <laughs> it's also the most imposing creature, and just as it's standing out of the, out of the bush, you're like, "Oh, that looks scary." So it's you, like trying to hide behind like a bush. Like you, you aim. <laughs> yeah. So you're like, you're gonna attack that one, but you also. Too. They won't see me. <laughs> but you also realize that you are. I'm green. <laughs> this bush is green. Zug zug. Um, you also realize though that you are directly in the center of the room. Like you're yeah. dead center of the room. So this is 
the worst position you can be in. For so sure. if you take your shot, that's kind of going to be where you're stuck at, like location wise. Um. Well, what are my options? Can I? Well, do you a can little flippy flu. You can. Yeah. You'll you'll lose you'll what lose your attack, but you can basically you can kind of move towards the corner of the room and have a little bit of cover. Okay. What 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 do we have in this room? It's a courtyard. It's, it's a garden. garden. What's in the garden? garden. Probably some more, uh, more like hedges. bush, yeah, bushes and and actually some trees and and like it's very lush. There's a lot of grass as well. Decorative uh, fountain is, in the center. Yes, decorative fountain. <laughs> so in the I was center. wondering about a decorative fountain um, in the center. Got it. But the problem is, for you to take this shot, you have to actually like, get on top of the fountain to shoot this orc. So that's mm. the complication. Is um, a one what a what? Because <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. Well, oh yeah, complication. <laughs> no, the, or the orc. orc. Oh, the orc. Yeah, exactly. Well, orcs don't exist in Dark Sun, so. <laughs> the what now? Uh, yeah, so the the orc. Um, so you you have to like to get a shot on him. You have to jump up on top of the fountain, which kind of makes you a little bit of a target, which is not super safe. Not great for me. No, not great for you. But the question is, is it worth it to be able to to knock out this orc before it gets to act? There are four other creatures besides this orc. Not yeah. us. Not. Uh, oh, no. Well. Hmm. Maybe not. Yeah. I mean, for me, yeah. I don't have very great armor. Yeah. Or hit points. Mm. Well, here's what I'll say. Um, you have your armor is one normally. It is two if you're outnumbered. Now, does that mean outnumbered by the party or just whatever is engaged with me? Yes. It's. I mean, it's it's Dungeon World. So like, okay. you know, if you were fighting one giant like three-story tall thing thing against the four of you, I'd be like, yeah, that's outnumbered. <laughs> if it's like fourth Rykreen against you four, I'd say no, you're not outnumbered. Kay. It's just you know. I got it. Um. I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. So. Uh, you already rolled. You were you you got higher than a seven, so that's why I added the complications. So now you just roll your damage. And, you and know that what? is just my D8 and then um, plus two yeah. with my ranged. If weapon. you want to, you could even go in and hack and slash it. You could. Uh, you but could. I get the plus two with my ranged. That's true. I don't when I just. Well, it's not aware of you. So what I'm saying is, you could run in and backstab because it's it <gasps> literally does not know. Like you're hidden behind this fountain, and you just kind of like like looking around the fountain. You notice it, and the orc is like focused on Yenin. So, mm. but that would put you that you'd be Maybe. really going into yeah. into the thick of things. So well, how risky know. do you want to get, guys? <laughs> what should I do? Let's see. Um, what would your yeah, do? let's, um... Self-preservation? What would Jesus do? <laughs> you right. What would well, I Jesus do? wouldn't worry about death. <laughs> Just three days and everything is fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I guess maybe I want to do... Let's see. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to run up toward where the orc is. I'm going to backstab him. Um... All right, make your backstab check. Because then I'm further to the perimeter of the, the area, so that'll, instead of just staying in the middle, that's what I'll do. Do it. All right, make so your backstab check. 2d6. 2d6. No longer my plus two from. Well, the, you're not rolling your damage. Right. What? You're rolling a backstab check here. Oh, got it. Okay, so eight. Plus your dex. Plus three. So I think that means you get to pick two? Yes, I think so. Or pick three. Wait, hold on. I don't know. I get to choose. Choose two. Okay. Okay. So I will choose to use my backstab damage. Okay. So 2d6 on top of your d8. And I will create an advantage. Plus one forward to me or an ally acting on it. Okay. So you so you run up, stick this orc. The orc is like so like you're blindingly fast. You just jump in, yeah. stick the orc. The orc is like, Wah! and then as that happens, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, uh, that's right. As the as the orc screams, he uh, drops his bow, and the other four uh, figures hear the the orc scream, and they all stand up out of. Uh, out of their bushes because like, ah, oh, this isn't how it's supposed to go. <laughs> so they're all kind of like momentarily distracted. You've been revealed. Yeah. So you can get you can give yourself a plus one forward or you can give it to somebody else. Plus one forward just means plus one on your next roll. Okay. I'm gonna give where is everyone in relation to I so I'm not even in this room. Right he's now. out You're yeah, right. he's, yeah, he's about and I feel about 20 30 feet away. kinda in the center. We're like by the fountain. Yeah, you guys are all kind of by the fountain together. Well now you're not. Now you're Yeah, in you kinda moved in a little deeper. I did. Um, all right, I'm gonna plus one to Ember. Dope! Because she uses ranged weapons, so 
let's let her kill things. Yeah. And okay. then do I still roll for my damage? You do roll your damage. Now? Two D six plus a D eight. Alright. A lot of damage. Nice. Yes it is. Oh, okay. Seventeen. Seventeen and then um that's it, right? I don't add anything. Nope, you don't add to anything that. to it, but that is there's a hell of a lot. So much damage in, in in Dungeon World. That's an unreasonable amount. Yeah, of damage. I, I, I basically can't. I do am that. very sneaky. Yeah, very very sneaky, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Totoro. Um, you just one shot the orc, not even close. Like uh, I run up. He's still crouched down, so he's at my level, and I just fucking stab him under yeah. his under right his jaw. Up, yeah, under his jaw. He has a third tusk <laughs> sticking out, which is your dagger. Right. You pull it out. The orc just falls forward dead. I mean, mm. uh, just compl- so much overkill. Did not need that much damage. <laughs> Battle. I know that sound. Yeah. So now, <laughs> now, now the other four. <laughs> so now the other four kind of wildly take their take their shots uh, against uh, against all three of you. So everybody, uh, make me a defy danger now. Okay. The three of you, not you, Lovely. because you're you're out of their range. Yes. Or out of their line of sight. Yeah. I'm surprised that worked out for me, kind of. No. Yeah, it kind of did. Yeah, kind of. Unfortunately, they don't have their tank, though. I was going to say, that's where I want to be. Ooh. Okay, so, uh, did anybody fail? Six or lower. Yenin, <laughs> the defy dangers are not good for you today. No. All right, 2d6, higher the two. Plus one. Ooh, six. So seven, you can minus your armor. Uh, okay, good. Because add. so that doesn't kill me. <laughs> oh, that's oh, good. No, Yellen! <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a fun thing about Dungeon World, by the way. <laughs> you hear Yen and cry out and <laughs> <laughs> your spidey senses go yeah. crazy. All right. That's I a fun thing about Dungeon World, by the way, is it's not like D and D where they're like, oh, you get three strikes and you're out with death. You hit zero hit points, and um, in oh, Dungeon wow. World, you do get one chance to save yourself. Uh, basically, you roll two d six, and you need to roll a ten or higher. Uh, on your two d six to survive. And Otherwise, hitting nothing. zero hit points, you add nothing to wow. it. And if you don't, if you roll lower than a ten, then I have potions. A That's seven awesome. to nine, a seven to nine can succeed, but at a cost. Mm. So there is a possibility, it's but uh, but really, I mean, you're looking for ten or higher, and that's just when you hit zero. So it's so Yenin though is not core. dead. Mm. That's the important thing. He's <laughs> not dead from that attack. And that didn't happen yet. Yenin, um, um, and, and he can go. Yenin's gonna cast Mirror Image. Good call. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, five. Yeah. That that passes. It's an eleven. So yeah. Okay. There are still four uh, four of these uh, figures. You see. Yeah, but now there are three Yenins. Nice. Or uh, there's two Yenins. There's nice. Uh, so of these of these four figures that you see standing up, um, two of them look like what we all know to be gnomes, but again, are extinct in Dark Sun. They have not been seen for hundreds of years. Mm-hmm. So you see two gnomes and you see two halflings. That's weird. So anybody else can go. I'll wait for you. Oh wait, I did. I got a nine on my Defy Danger. Oh I shit! Did not get oh, to, I just wanted same, to. Same. Uh, you got a that. six, right? Yeah. Okay, so you um, you're gonna take. You know what? You'll take the same, but lower a two d six. Plus one. Plus one. Five. Okay. All right. Now people can act. Well, I feel like you guys should go before I do, since I'm just out of the room. Oh, you. Uh, that that is true. But also, um, so as you as you tackle this halfling into the into the stone wall and and, and tell me what you know about love. She looks at you. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Tell me what you know about love. Uh, it's, uh, it exists. It's real. I don't know what you want from me. What? I'm gonna look at my. So one of my abilities for my um, signature weapon is it glows in the presence of one type of creature. Okay. Can that be creatures who don't know love? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Fine. Yes. That's amazing. <laughs> so yeah, Sting. it's it's, it's so like a it's, lich it's, would not it would not or it would glow around a lich. Right. Or Mila Jovovich from the Fifth Element. Yeah. Yes. So basically, anybody who has not known love, it will glow around. Yes. Okay. Great. So this this person, it the your bla- your that, rope yeah. is not glowing. I mean, Jeez. we're talking like <laughs> like true love or just like because 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 Yenin's never been married, but like. Uh-oh, He's Yannin. <laughs> oh, poor <laughs> Yannin. Uh, no, well, maybe this is my quest. That's Maybe that's why I stick so close to, uh, to Yannin. Maybe maybe Yannin deserve Yannin, you deserve love. You do deserve love. It just gets in the way of his him becoming a dragon. 
I no, think rock star no. loves Yenin. Yeah, I was gonna say. The Yenin can know love it, no, without no, it needing to be yeah, for someone it. else. <laughs> Maybe Yenin knows love in like the uh, in like the sociopathic way. Like, oh, I understand why other humans like to engage in that sort of behavior, but I have a city to run. Yeah, it's like it's yeah, like, like, like no, I can I can understand like when there there are people that that I do love, but anyone who's not them, who I I cannot physically yeah. Yeah, <laughs> empathize. Well, so he with can like them. love being a sorcerer king, and like you know, it's yeah. like there's only one word for it and for was, some reason in this language. <laughs> right, that, there was that. That halfling man. That, uh, oh, that's that yeah, was the halfling man. Yeah, yeah there were some flirtations there for sure. Halfling man. That's all I need to hear. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, love you. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> trick me. Yeah. Um, so this person, it's glowing. It is not glowing. Oh, not glowing. So yeah, she this, know love. she she has known love. Oh. You've gotten. You've lived your life well, little halfling. <laughs> Thank but you. But you attacked my friend. I, I don't need to do my turn right now. I don't have anything else to do. Okay. Was she going to say anything? Um, she, she was just. She was going to say, uh, it, "If you if you let me go, then I'll help you." That seems reasonable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you just hurtled like a meteor into her, <laughs> tackled her into a stone wall, and then held her up like this. She's like, "Yeah, no, I'll help you." Yeah. Tell me about your sexual history. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting very uncomfortable. <laughs> um, uh, so, uh, Yenin went with Mirror Image. Uh, Ember, or you can go again, Nyx. Since oh, you had your little... Yeah, you, you acted in the surprise round. Okay. Oh, yeah, you did. Because you shoot first, Han Solo. I do. Ha-ha! Take um, that. I'm going to rapid fire at two of the gnomes. Or the two gnomes. Four, five, uh, eight, nine. Uh, oh, nine if I have that plus one. The, Same thing, though. The gnomes are extremely tricky to get a beat on because they're just like hopping around and and they can okay, surprisingly okay. shoot yeah exactly <laughs> they can surprisingly shoot their 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 bow and arrows while moving extremely well so it's hard to get a beat on them but if teach you teach me <laughs> but uh, if you if you move in you can just shoot shoot them both point blank but you'd have to move in very close to each of them so they'd be able to get a shot on you as well you'd just basically be charging at them all right i'll do it all right. <laughs> I will do it. Four, five, seven. Okay, so uh, you do seven damage to each gnome, and they are not wearing armor. Unfortunately, you do not kill either of them. Uh, they're mm -hmm. both, like, a as you take a shot at each gnome, you can tell that it, this is going to be a mortal wound. Like, there's no surviving the amount of damage that you just did, but they're... they're Probably going to be able to soldier on just through adrenaline alone for at least a tough. few. Yeah, they're prison, yeah. Tough. prison tough. Yeah, and they are wearing their their prison uh, uniforms. That's what they call them, right? Prison uniforms. Yeah. yeah. Like bright orange jumpsuits. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uniforms seems like such a weird word yeah. to use yeah. for prison stuff. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah, so they're wearing their prison uniforms. Costume. You know, they're nice and... What's that? Costumes. Prison, <laughs> prison costumes. Prison costumes. Yeah, they're wearing their prison costumes. <laughs> prison regalia. Oh they're wearing their prison regalia. Prison robes. Um, yeah, they're wearing their prison robes. <laughs> this was a prison-themed party. We <laughs> yeah, broke right, yeah, it's not actually prisoners. <laughs> it was it's actually just, a rave. Yeah, it's just something that a bunch of college kids got together to do because college kids do offensive things. <laughs> <laughs> we're having a, we're having no, a that prison so party. True. Yeah, <laughs> that would true. be a That would be a frat party, no I'm question. Too young to hey. have context. <laughs> yeah. White college students. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. White college Ooh. students. Yeah. Um, yeah, right on. <laughs> Stick it to a man. Yeah, they're all wearing green face paint because they're racist. Um, okay, so, but as you, uh, uh, as you run though, you, I mean, you're running point blank. At right. Two people have bows trained on you, so they you get you get an arrow just like directly in the chest, like okay. nails you right in the Ooh. sternum. Two uh, d eight higher the two plus one. What's the total? Nine. Nine. Wow. So that's a eight. solid hit. I rolled a two and an eight. Oh, God. Uh, so, yeah, so it, yeah, it gets you directly in the sternum, and you can actually feel it puncture the sternum, oh. which is not easy to do. Ooh. But you were running right directly. I mean, I you was. caught the... <laughs> you running into the arrows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and the, the velocity of your run. <laughs> yeah. Really, that's what made the difference. <laughs> we didn't yeah. actually fire the arrow. He just, like, <laughs> was holding yeah. it. Uh, <laughs> he just ran right into yeah. it. You impaled he yourself He kind of let go, and it just sort of went... Yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so um, Ember, oh, Nyx, you still have to go. Okay, so we've got two people on you. 
The right? two the uh, gnomes. Well, the yeah, gnomes. the two gnomes, and then the two halflings are, are uh, a little further back. They look like they're, I mean, they could fire it at any of you, really. They okay. don't look like they're focusing on one person more than any other. All right. So yeah, two halflings that are that seem fresh, uh, fresh to go, and two gnomes that are very badly injured, and two yenins that look like they're on their last legs. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, two very injured yeah. yenins. Who's on mm. yenin? Nobody at the moment. They've just yeah, been firing true. arrows at yeah, me. Yeah, they've just been firing arrows randomly. At least you, um, you want to try and guess which one might fire at yenin next? Yeah. Okay, discern realities. So that's add w- your wisdom to this roll. Okay. Oh my. Do we keep that? You can roll it. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm so nice. I'm going to let you have it. You've been nice. Right. I've been real nice. Oh, oh shit. Oh. See, Fox that cars. second one earned the first one. <laughs> so. And plus two more. So uh, you you look, and both of the gnomes <laughs> that are like super badly injured, they're for sure like, we just need to survive. Hopefully, we can just kill this person mm-hmm. in front of us. Mm. Like That's the only thing they can think of. Both of the halflings, though, are super unnerved by this mirror image thing, and they think like they're almost certain they're ignoring you. They're focusing on the mirror image. Like we need to kill whatever this shaman is or whatever this this thing is that's casting spells. So both of the halflings look like they're gonna attack you. Okay. Um. I don't know if that really. Well, good luck. There are two of me. One of them's not real. <laughs> one of them's not real. Which one will I go to save? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, but try and save me. I'll roll a d6 and tell you if you pick the right one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pouring my health potion <laughs> into <laughs> like, oh crap. <laughs> okay. Do you want to you want to give him a health potion? Um I mean with that with that discern realities check, you can know which one is the real Yenin and pour a health potion down his throat. I'm going to do that. that okay. Good. Yeah, so you use your action to to give your health potion to Yenin and Yenin heals 10 hit points. Uh, David, uh, mm-hmm. you have enough to, to be able to act now. Okay. Um, I, I, I pluck the little bow from my halfling's hands and look at it and go, a suitable weapon for the love god. Come, help me kill your comrades. <laughs> <laughs> I shall call you Cupid. Yeah. Arrows. <laughs> Let your arrows fly as true as those of the cherubim who... Guard the throne of the love, love, love goddess, lava goddess. <laughs> the lava, lava goddess. Lava, lava, lava I've misunderstood things. There's right a lot now. of there's a lot of things in flux about Kiganis. <laughs> Kiganis is made out of lava now right. and is a love goddess. You gotta love the lava. Lava. <laughs> I come charging. Lava. Love <laughs> my lava. My lava. <laughs> uh, so I come. Rothgar comes charging back out onto the landing. Sees. Yenin. Double Yellens. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Yellen. And his heart grew three sides. <laughs> Double the love. <laughs> uh, uh, so it's it's you see two y- injured gnomes and two halflings that are uninjured. Correct. Okay. Yes, and the injured gnomes look and so a badly. Dead injured. as yeah. Orc. orc. Yeah, yeah, that orc is done. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna come flying leap off of Hulk, Hulk jump off of the uh, <laughs> line up the, nice. through the air. Uh, I guess spinning out my last one underneath me as I come down like an old timey cowboy. Train. Nice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Western Airs training has done awesome. you well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically gonna gra- get one of the uh, halflings and hog tie him up. Okay, make me make me uh, just a strength roll. Ooh, uh, nine. Okay, so you. You absolutely do. So you you tie up this halfling, and this halfling is in no way a threat now. You just completely uh, hog time out of the fight. Unfortunately, your <laughs> you realize that your, your magical rope is now being used entirely. There we go. Now to attack. <laughs> you, you, you turn around and attack. You have no weapon, and and the uh, the halfling next to you just drops uh, the other halfling drops its bow and just sticks you with a dagger. Uh, <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> right, right in your already open kidney hole. <laughs> right. Oh, I forgot to punch that one up. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's a D6 damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, five. Do you take nothing? I take nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the, that uh, hole already existed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the halfling has a a, a, a uh, bone shank. Dead. <laughs> yeah. The halfling has a bone shank dagger and just sticks you, and the bone just snaps. Oh. It just breaks like. Oh, yeah, just shit. flex my, uh, my, my oblique. Oblique, muscle. yeah, you <laughs> flex your oblique and it just breaks on your oblique, and then, oh shit. Yeah. Uh, now, Eros, let your Eros find true! I say, pointing at one of the gnomes. Does the, he get an attack? Or uh, sure, uh, make me a charisma check. 
Or, uh, oh, ma- oh. yeah, yeah, charisma. This will count as the hack and slash. Uh, six, uh, nine. Okay, uh, the, yeah, the, the halfling that you captured <laughs> uh, shoots an arrow and does, uh, we'll call it a d8 damage. Okay, very good. I have one of those. And you commanded the... This is against the gnome, not oh, against, against the other gnome. halfling. Okay, oh, yeah, you... That arrow just completely uh, sinks into the gnome, and the gnome falls down. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, yeah, I could attack you. Good job! The other gnome... I could have you attack your own comrades. Of course not. Uh, that would be mean. Killing the gnomes, no problem. No, nope. nice. they're only going extinct. So there's, no big deal. there's one... That's true. <laughs> there's one gnome uh, and one halfling that are still in the fight, uh, and then a halfling which is tied up. And a halfling so, on our team. Yeah, and a halfling on your team. Mm, for now. For now. So, who goes? There. Are we at the top of a new round? We're at the yes, top we of a new round. Um, I could try and parlay with the remaining halflings um, using the halfling we have on our side. Parlay using strength again. Mm-hmm. The one just stab the thing in <laughs> right. Ha ha ha! Listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Love conquers all. I assume, your heart I, to love. I assume your hands are like on their face. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Probably even picked up like on tiptoes. <laughs> right. Open your hearts to love, as your friend Eros has done. You can be Cupid and join us in our battle against evil forces. The halfling's like. <laughs> yeah. This. <laughs> so many of those words don't match what you look like. This is my interrogator check. Yeah. So you strength instead of charisma. Oh. Oh, oh yeah. Fourteen. Oh. oh. My. Yeah, the uh, the, the halfling whose cheeks are drooling <laughs> mightily. I'm pushing probably too hard as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you yeah. You're gonna pop my soul. <laughs> it's happened before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he says the the halfling says, "Okay, I'm on board." Sealed. I'm on your team. With a kiss. <laughs> 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 he is. I mean, that is the least. Difficult part of the Love what for the love god! <laughs> uh, love god. <laughs> yeah, that's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> like, the, the, uh, the gnome who is, uh, who is just absolutely on his last leg, uh, literally is just like on one knee, so woozy, <laughs> is just like. I must be hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. This cannot be real. Um, yeah, so that gnome remains. Anybody else want to go? Um. I'll try to talk to the gnome as a fellow small creature. Sure. Um, let's see. What would I? Let's, what? What am I? What am I? What can I do? Mm. Well, you can These parlay. Are just moves. Yeah. yeah, I mean, basically, you're you're looking to parlay essentially. It's okay. like uh, it's I'm just looking a to like check. appeal to him as like a fighter and a criminal. You know, Oops. somebody who's like. You know, I get it. We gotta fight the man, but we're not the man you gotta fight against. <laughs> right. You're all twisted up in your head, man. You're all twisted up in your head, man. We're not your enemies. <laughs> all right. Um, I hope you say it in that voice. Yeah. Right. I always say it in that voice. They all right, love make, it. Yeah. Make me a charisma check with right. your with your years of experience mm-hmm. as a criminal behind uh, under your belt. <laughs> Oops. You still have your advantage. I'm gonna use my advantage. All right. Thank you for the advantage, space colonizer. Space colonizer. So you can you can. Uh, uh, roll so roll one dice this time though because okay. you only get to roll lower. Uh, oh, okay. Well, look at that. Okay, so wow. still still low. That's um, fine. So you you walk up to the gnome and you're like, um, get, tell me what you say and don't don't try and botch it. Just be genuine. Okay. Um, hold on. Don't try to botch it. <laughs> well, because you know roll know. low. So yeah, yeah, so low. Do I? <laughs> so low. So low. So low. Oh, <laughs> duck. Um, okay, because I add my, I'm gonna, I'm trying to do maybe add like use connections too, like sure, kind of yeah. using like my criminal yeah. mind. Mm, so mm. can I add my charisma to my roll? Uh, yeah, you can add your charisma. Okay, so that makes it a seven. Okay. So still on the Tell crappy what you side. Say. Um, all right. I've never seen another small creature with such amazing moves in battle. I, mm. I please, we are not your enemy. We've come here to, uh, why are we here? I'm new to this party. Kill them all. <laughs> no. We've come here to kill them You all. like my moves? I do like your moves. I've never seen anyone move and shoot a bow that fast in my whole life. I've killed so many people. How many? <laughs> uh, like 10. Oh my gosh, can we be best friends? 
Uh, absolutely, you'll leave me alive, Never. right? It's yeah, like you. Uh, um, here, here's the thing. So ten is a lot for every person, <laughs> by the way. I feel, I feel I know. like <laughs> that's, what's fun, that's what's burger. funny about this. Yeah. Remember, it's like burger only ten. ten. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Like, I feel. I feel like we all got off on the wrong foot. I agree. We can kill people together. Yeah. Um. We we didn't come in here to fight. We we came in here to just inspect to see what's going on. We heard there was a prison here that we didn't even know existed. It's not a prison anymore. It's right. a country. Yes. And we would like your country to join our country. <laughs> yes. I don't think our leader's going to like that. Oh, you have a leader? Yeah, yeah, we'll ask him. What do you think about that? Hmm? Leader of well, who, this whole fucking who's, town? Who's your leader? Uh, our leader is uh, Susurax. And, and, and where are they? They're further back in the prison. Is it? Oh, Cyrus how many? The virus? How many more people? <laughs> how many more people are there? Was this just your first defense? First defense. Like the front defense here in the garden. Oh yeah. You have we, more people in yeah, the back. We have more people. Yeah. Oh great! How many people you got back there? Um. Well, we have workers mostly. We don't have that many combatants. We only have like so, just I a think bunch of unarmed workers. Is what you're telling me? Mostly, us? yeah. Mostly <laughs> unarmed workers, but we do have. Uh, Cicerax is very good at combat, and then he really has just a, like spilling this information. And then there's like. Oh, this person is still dying, by the way. Um, Can I kind of patch up, like, oh, not you, necessarily a like health potion, but, like, kind of patching up something. If you, if you make a motion now. to do anything at all, then he is like, please help yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, good, good, because if he had been rude, Ember was going to step on the bullet wound. <laughs> <laughs> we will save your life, and in turn, you will bring us to your leader so we can have a conversation with him, as I tried to do before you filled me with arrows! <laughs> that was not my fault. Cicerax told us to do that. Yes, just following orders, huh? <laughs> I don't know if yes. you want to be part of your Nazi country. I don't know what that means. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> or I. Like, uh, how long have you guys been Why do you speak school? as if you have so much knowledge, but it's coming out like a crazy... I'm fairly insane, I think. You, you don't get to have conversation with new people, because last time you threw man off... Off of throw him off the building? No. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry. He, wait, you don't have your lasso. <laughs> and, oh yeah. Yeah, that half like is still like ah. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to kiss this one. Hang on, I'll be talking to this guy over here. <laughs> I, you, I forgot to kiss this one. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Uh, and then I was like, what the hell does I, that I, mean? What I, does pick that up, I pick mean? up the hog-tight and just take him off to a corner and start explaining things about the love that I live. Mm. We've got five minutes before he gets back here, so let's <laughs> hammer this out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, we just hear love every now and then. Yeah. 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 Love! <laughs> Kiss <Okay>. me! <laughs> so, okay. Uh, uh, the, the Cicerax has uh, a couple of, 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 of big helper fighters with him, but the majority of, of the people in, in the prison aren't like trained soldier fighters like you clearly are. Does Cicerac want to spend the rest of his days stuck in a hole in the ground, starving to death, or does he want to be a free person? Oh, Cicerac absolutely wants out, but I don't think we can get out. I can make this happen. Oh, he If you stop powerful. firing arrows at me, I can make this happen. He would like that, but... He also said that people would come in here trying to, to kill us because we're not allowed to be in charge of our own fate. Well, that's oh, true. well, that those, was the old ruler of I, the city. Those people are dead. We killed those people. All of them. Oh, that's great. Mm. That's we so do a good. lot of killing. <laughs> we have so much in common. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will take you to him. <laughs> Ember still again you know is like what? 10 <laughs> under her breath, just like 10. 10, 10, 10. He's been locked like away 10. for a long time. <laughs> yeah, get off it. 10. It, w yeah, what's, what's funny is like, what's funny is the, the 10 that this person has killed, which is much fewer than I'm sure Ember has killed, uh, seems to weigh much heavier on this person. Like 10, like, 10. I've seen some shit. I've killed 10 people. Ember's like, Countless. <laughs> I'm trying to remember okay. exactly how many I killed today. Yeah. Right. right? <laughs> yeah. It's been a day. Yeah, we did that accidentally this morning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're like, uh, you know what? Don't have that many fingers, so who cares? Yeah. Um, so I come back. With Ember's like, oh right, just like ten humans. What else have you killed? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right. I come back like, well, the guy's untied, and I'm looping my lasso back up and putting it back on my belt, going like, good news, he's agreed to marry you. I say to one of the other halflings, <laughs> we'll do a quick halfling marriage and then we'll just carry on. Hey, the, 
We, we have business to attend. Marriage will have to come after. The, the, halflings, the halflings actually kind of look at each other sheepishly like, we never really defined anything, but I feel like we've... <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and they both immediately agree to be Ooh, married. Lasso knows. Yeah. Very good ones, very quickly then. In the name of the goddess of love, I hereby pronounce you halfling and halfling. Let me just say Are you so like, a, quickly. like a <laughs> ship's captain? You can just marry people? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's my main boat goal he for being here in the world. He took a course on the internet. Because <laughs> yeah. yeah. I heard in the day... I this printout. <laughs> I, I heard... It's a certificate. Uh, a, a sorcerer it's king like could marry <laughs> people <laughs> as well. So is that my power? Could I just marry people? Yeah, I'm more of like in the... Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. Great, yes. Well, we'll do the big, we'll do I feel do like the... that suggestion just made Rothgar's life. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> you can marry people? <laughs> wow, it's like one step closer to the goddess. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, you just, I mean, you just convinced a sorcerer king that it's a good use of his time to be <laughs> marrying people, so that's amazing. The goddess works in mysterious ways. Okay, so uh, so the the halfling <laughs> takes you. He takes you to uh, he takes you uh, into the into the prison and like puts up some hand signals before going into the into the next room, which is the mess hall. Um, and you actually see some people come out, and the halfling says, "They're cool. They're with us. They're gonna help us rebel." Um, and they're like, "All right, cool." So they let you walk through the, the mess hall. <laughs> All going, right, cool. <laughs> All right, cool. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, you did the hand signals. No further questions. You know the hand signals. You said they're cool. You mentioned the word rebel, so we're all good. Check, check, check. Check, check, check. Come on in. He's just like, rebel! Oh, it's just like screaming. I'm just saying anything. You, you, uh, you walk by a bunch of offices with what look like now defunct uh, golems. They have like titles on the doors, like different workers for what they do in the prison or whatever. Uh, you walk by another room um, really because, prison. because this game is taking longer than I thought I was going to. <laughs> you walk through by another room. Oops. You see a bunch of prisoners all like tied up together, uh, and then at the very end, um, you get to the you get to the 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 prison gym, which is uh, open the air. Gymnasium. <laughs> the gymnasium. You see a lot of kickballs. <laughs> <laughs> Smells <laughs> like. Any, yeah. any ropes I can climb? Yeah, you see ropes that you can climb. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't climbed enough ropes yeah, today. Yeah, Rockgar's just yeah. dinging oh. bells <laughs> on these climbs. Yeah. You see. <laughs> yep. Yep. There's ropes that you can climb. There's a lot of uh, a lot of uh, kickballs. There's um, a tug of war happening, you know, like a gym that you would find in a prison. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Typical. Yeah. The you see. Uh, roll of it, yeah. 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 You see like the the foxtail tennis balls that the people would There's throw. The big net yeah, you the can big, climb. The on. net you can climb on. Parachute. The parachute. Everybody's yeah. doing playing the parachute game. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Your gym. standard prison gym. That, that, yeah. that hole that's just filled with foam square, so you can yeah. fall yeah. your own. And there's like the two foot tall balance beam. Yep. This is what I play D and or. Dungeon World for it's the, the fantasy fulfillment. <laughs> exactly, yeah. all of this stuff is all true. All about world building. <laughs> it's all about world building. Okay, so, uh, but even with all of this fun going on, there's a foreboding sense of danger because you see on his throne or a folding chair, <laughs> uh, you see this Cicerax with two very large ogres standing, uh, flanking his eyes. He he stands up out of his throne. Uh, it's a he's a lizard person. Um, mm. Not a lizard folk, well, but a lizard, lizard person. person. Yeah. Okay. The, the rumors, the conspiracy is true. <laughs> um, the lizard person looks. Uh, like the guys live in the center of the earth and yeah, control, control everything. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. That kind, that kind like of lizard the person. Like the queen. Yeah, well, obviously. Listen, <laughs> like Obama. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, blowing it wide open today, like folks. The, <laughs> like, like both of the Clintons. Like. Bernie Sanders even. Wake up, oh, people! Wake up, sheeple! Okay, so anyway, that... <laughs> hashtag Brexit. I was, yeah, I was gonna say that. Hashtag Brexit. Um, oh God, you know the lizard happened. people made it happen. There wasn't a real vote. Okay. Um, that's straying dangerously close to a real opinion I have about something, so let's just stop. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they just lied to the people to get them to vote how they wanted to. Okay, so... That's never we, happened. Yeah, that's never no. happened in a referendum that's before. That's not how governments work. So he, he stands up and, and kind of looks you up and down. I'm in charge here. I see that you've got a few... You've tricked a few of my people to follow along. Okay, I get it. You're done now. You had your fun. Leave. What was your name again? May I ask? <laughs> Cicerix. <laughs> Cicerix. Um, Cicerix, do you want to be the toughest guy on, on shit mountain, or do you want actual power? Well, you're speaking, well, you are speaking to the person in charge of this prison. Ooh, ooh, 
a prison. A prison. Is that your ambition? To be the toughest man in a prison? Yes. <laughs> that was since always I my was ambition. 12. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in here, yeah. I've been in here since I was 12. <laughs> So yes, my goal has always been to run this prison. Did you see all of the all of the workers that I killed? Did you see the the guards that are s going to be executed? Yes, I am succeeding wildly. You're sitting. I am hashtag killing chair. it. Dude, just sitting on a folding chair. Right, you're sitting, you're, they're saying you're sitting on a folding chair. You're sitting on a folding chair. It's a throne. <laughs> but he has a real throne. Don't look like a fucking throne. Are seen? you actually a king? Yes. Of I, what? I, the legendary free city of Tyr. Which includes this bit. This over Tyr. This no, this the name Dingus? of this. The name of this isn't Tyr. <laughs> oh. Do you know? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, <Yeah>. the, <laughs> you see This city has a name. You can't just come and name something something different just because it's yours now. Is that what you did? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what I did what I did is different. Okay, is this it? is my prison now, but I'm not changing the name of it. The name will stay the same because I'm respectful. There's already signage. Well, yeah, that's because my name needs to be on everything. Oh. Because I own it now, but it still technically is Aria Prison. Do you have murals? Yeah, but you can't get out of this prison. You're trapped in here by the wards, which are controlled from the warden's office. Mm. That anyone so oh, well, so then I so, well then I can go to the warden's office to get out is what you're telling me. So then I can get out. So you won't be able to get in there without uh, our help. I meant the we sword. What do you mean? I have killed the warden, and he is the only I, I one have, that can use I have it. so many sets of prison keys. I'm sure I can get into the warden's office. It doesn't use a key. And then it what? uses magic. Yeah, there's a magic ward button here that you and then, up the wards. Let's say... Okay, then I'll use that. But you can't get to it without magic. Yeah. Let's say you, you turn off the wards, you kill the guards, you become toughest man in prison. Then what? Then what? Is that, well, then I can leave the city, and then the city will be mine. Yeah, well, hmm. Uh. You guys are a pretty good player, right? Yeah, let's say that. The people, the, if there's uh, one thing that I know, it makes sense. if yeah. there's one thing that I know about the city of Aria, it's that it is a very soft city with very weak people. They will not be able to deal with all of these prisoners. There's like 25 people. Is it about the city that we people. moved? Yeah. yeah. Like the city that we moved that no one is living in? Yeah. Uh, well, and also, I mean, oh also the city, the city was a ruin and had been dormant for like a thousand years. Right. This is not the case. God. Why don't we just, well, how about this? Why are they still alive? Do you ask that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this? I'm like, hold on, wait, a thousand years? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, I was I'm wondering so when well. somebody was going to ask that. I'm like, the, the timeline does not add up. I didn't realize it had been a thousand years that the city <laughs> had laid dormant. The, the city was dormant, and then there was a giant, for better words, power battery that I turned on. I'm guessing, perhaps, it woke everything up. It gives new meaning to life sentence, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's that was deep. That is I know. Deep. <laughs> this. So why don't we just? Okay, you're over a different city now. Do you have? Can I ask? Uh, what is your power structure here? Is it just you make all the decisions and everyone listen, or do you have lieutenants? I have these lieutenants. I let everyone have a choice in what I decide. Okay. Um, <laughs> what I decide. <laughs> can, I, can I ask your lieutenants how how much would you like to just be pardoned and go about your business? Uh, he looks uncomfortable when you ask his lieutenants that. He's like, they don't need to answer that. That's fine. Uh, cause that's, I am, that is on the table. Now, this man is unreasonable and will not take that. So if you kill him, then the offer is still on the table. Oh. <laughs> he, uh, the, 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 his two lieutenants kind of look at each other for a minute. He's like, hold on, hold on. Okay. You're both free now. He looks at the lieutenant and says, you're free, you're free. All of you are free if... There is no slavery here. I, as far as I'm concerned, your sentences are complete. I, I tried to offer this before, yeah, and then- A thousand years seems like a long time. Mm. Yeah. I, I'm even willing to make you a part of the legendary free city of Tyr, where every, every person has an equal say in what is happening. You seem, uh, so you're, how, how powerful is your city? It is so powerful that everyone else wants to stop it. <laughs> yeah, it's under constant siege by armies. <laughs> That's how great it is. You would have never-ending battle. 
So it's been a thousand years you've never You would been. get to just kill No, it people. hasn't been a thousand years since when? I've only been in prison for maybe 50 years. Okay. What would, what, let me ask you a quick question. What did the sun look like last time you were outside? Was it a huge black ball of red flame? That's not a sun. That's something else. Ah, no, that's okay. I just, you're going to want to take a peek at the sun in a minute. <laughs> okay. Just a real quick look. Right? Yeah. I uh, mean, that's just for starters. It's for he, starters. He's like... This, for argument's sake, this is an open air gym now. He uh, he looks up and he's like, oh, I hadn't thought to do that. <laughs> so look a little that darker. Looks, it it looks this really is lasso to like go and get the the, the shade on the, yeah. on the moon roof. Yeah, that's right. I really pull the sun for you. <laughs> just open up um, their sunlight so we can yeah. see. Yeah. Uh, second question. Nobody could reach that shade before. How, what percentage of the planet was covered in water? Just a rough guess for, uh, when you were in jail. I, I think the no, uh, I. I don't know, maybe half, no, uh, half of the world's water. What? I thought you were going to say like 2%. That would have been fucking amazing. <laughs> 50%? Yeah, like half the world, I think. Look, most people don't know what water is. We drink sweat off of fucking animals. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking terrible. That's the, that's <laughs> normal? <laughs> that's good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Salty. That's, that's what the kings hope to do. Oh, no. Why do they have, like, a never-ending supply of water here in this, like, I mean, they in this look, gym? Yeah, I mean, actually, as you go <laughs> through... As you, yeah, yeah, as you go, how through, is like, this you working? Go, as you go through the mess hall, you actually see, like, nice-looking food. Like, the trays had, like, nice-looking food. There's, like, people had cups of water. Can, can I join your prison? <laughs> is there, yeah, is right? There, is there some sort of crazy the water The prison is a utopia. Oh, there absolutely is water I mean, this whole prison. city is is pretty utopian yeah. for our, yeah. from our, our point of view. Yeah. yeah, it was before the world was shit. Oh, God, you guys should stay here. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. No, we'll we want to No, we want to break out of prison. No, nah, you wouldn't like it out there. Yeah, you really don't. You would just stay here. I mean, I know it sounds like we're trying to convince you so that you'll do what we're saying not Silence. to do. No, <laughs> this... I know what you're trying to do because because this prison, like all prisons in our society, had free therapy for every prisoner to try and work out our mental illness issues. For rehabilitation. For rehabilitation, because that was the primary purpose of prisons in our civilization, oh. was for that rehabilitation. That doesn't sound like that's going to work Things at all. Things have changed, my friend. <laughs> you might want to put this guy back and I said point to the and halfling talking about 10 pills all the time. So I know... <laughs> he needs a little more. Uh, so I know what you're trying to do. It's yeah, reverse psychology. I'm well informed of it. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. We want out. Yes. You have to agree to let us out. You are you are all free to leave here. I would suggest you probably stay in the city limits because it's nice up here. Um, and um, don't do any more crimes or you will be put back in, in a much worse prison. This 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 whole area is going to be redeveloped into condominiums or something. <laughs> yeah, this prison is nicer than the king's palace. We're going to gentrify this That's prison. not true. You haven't seen the inside of the palace. No, you haven't let me in yet. But <laughs> one day you're going to let me inside. That's true. There's uh, a lot of people he doesn't let into the palace. <laughs> So yeah, so instead of um, instead of having to fight these guys, I guess, <laughs> um, yeah, he just agrees. He's like, you know what? That actually sounds legit. He's yeah. a good fucking you appealed, leader. Yeah, you appealed to I'm their sociopathic tendencies because of why wanting, not? To, <laughs> wanting to be involved in a power structure. Um, I mean, they love prison politics, so you know. Great. I want and to watch. If, if any of you want to, I don't know, jump into the fray of a fight, we are currently under siege at the moment. So if you wish to, a great opportunity for some a battle huge, and yeah, some a honor. huge number of the prisoners raise their hand and say, "Yeah, we want to be soldiers. We want to kill people." Good, yeah. um, but great. surprisingly, a large <laughs> come with me. <laughs> well, surprisingly, a good number of a good number of the prisoners are like, "Can we have like regular jobs?" Yes, absolutely. There are plenty of jobs to be had. Yeah. Soldier. Guy who works in the mud. No, we have miners. We have farmers now. Oh, we, hey, all right. A, a couple of them actually raise their hand. Like, can can we be artists? Can people be paid to be to make yes. art? This, murals. This, this whole city murals. is without any murals. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's true. The floating city doesn't have murals yet. So. Oh well, oh, let's right. contract these guys out. <laughs> yeah. So they so let's they draft up some contracts, guys. <laughs> yeah, so None they, of them can do anything though. They're just like drawing weird stick figures. They yeah. like no. Art they're really good at still. just making marks on a wall, <laughs> counting no, down. No, they had art therapy. They're really yeah, yeah that's they're true. Real yeah, good. I would just say that and like theater therapy. Even yeah. the guys yeah, who therapy. are like, yeah, let's fight. Like the most psychotic guys in this prison are still pretty average for dark <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, they're like, like you guys are like, yeah, these are like little babies. Irredeemable prisoners in dark on the grand scale of brutality are like a six in dark 
Yeah, from like a, yeah, Whereas from like the kid show. selling apples on the corner is an eight. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't pay me. <laughs> yeah, yeah he, he had to kill six people to get hold of that apple. Right. right yeah. yeah. It's like you. What you think I grew these apples? That didn't happen. No man. Oh man. Uh, okay. I want to just watch one of the prisoners when they. If we get to a point where a prisoner walks up to the prison, yeah, grounds. they all walk out. Okay, together. Well, I'm watching really carefully because I'm pretty sure the first guy who walks out is going to get Indiana Jones to go. Ha! <laughs> it's like ages a thousand years before our eyes as soon as he walks outside. Uh, you Why actually. Why is his face melting? Why? <laughs> so you actually, um, you they all walk outside together, um, and that happens to none of them. Uh, no. So after the fact, uh, <laughs> so after the fact, you actually uh, inspect these prisoners, and they all have like they have these tattoos that have been put on them, and apparently the purpose of the tattoos was to give them a life sentence, uh, an immortal life sentence. Ooh. So these people could not die; they were basically meant to be in prison forever. Wow, That's you guys did really bad. Stuff. Awful. Bad so it's stuff. like one time. What do you mean we did bad stuff? Well, I don't know what not you really. So uh, the sister acts is like I didn't do anything wrong. Nuked I was in here. I was innocent. Whoa. A lot of the other people are <laughs> like, like, sure, I'm guilty of crimes that I've committed in prison. <laughs> of the heart. Right. Crimes of the heart. <laughs> yeah. Crimes of the but heart. You, as yeah. you go by and ask like crimes individual, passion. as you ask the individual prisoners like what they did, um, the one person who was proud of killing ten people now pales in comparison to what all of these people. <laughs> wow. They're like, oh, this is a prison full of monsters. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we could use those in the army. That sounds good. We'll fit right in. Great. And Eros, Cupid, and uh, the third and, one, Amore. <laughs> <laughs> Eros, I'm going to write that down. You stick with me. Eros. They all have Cupid. their little crossbows. Amore. I'm going to start training them so that I can run into combat, take a knee, and then have them jump up over my shoulders. And I mean, yeah, you can have you can have uh, people with you. You can have, uh, uh, what do they call them? Uh, yeah, you can recruit Some people. Hirelings? Yeah, hirelings, yeah, you can have yeah. hirelings. Like, Justin had two, then we killed one, so now <laughs> he's just got the one left. Yeah. Works for me. Good yeah. Job. Okay. <laughs> that is. Uh, Forget your old names. Cause <laughs> I'm not ever gonna learn it. The, there Trust is a me, right, he won't. <laughs> yeah, Don't worry. There are don't so worry. many halflings now. <laughs> don't worry. There is a precedent for forget your names. You're part of our crew now. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So it's a. Uh, if I have three, I don't know if that works or not. That's five halflings yeah. in this group. I mm-hmm. like it. Yeah. So um, uh, Sister asks actually says to you. Uh, I do want an important position of power within within your city. You should well, use me. I'm. Yes. I. There may be some. There's good a, with people. There's a city council, <laughs> um, and there may oh, be some opening seats in the city team. council uh-huh. in the not too distant future. So, wink, wink. So I will. Well, I've always wanted to be a politician. That is my favorite idea. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> so, so this uh, is like not gonna go well. Just maniacally <laughs> laughing. You should be a twisted <laughs> lizard man, so you'll fit in just fine. Right. But, I mean, the rest of them are also lizard this people. They just to, hide it. You'll have to fight it out with the other lizard men. Yeah. 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 First openly lizard man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's been, it's been a long road, guys. Yeah. I, first I, lizard person president. Lizard openly person. lizard person. I, very soon there will be seats on the council, I am predicting. So... Yes. So the so you release these prisoners into the general population of the world. No, you you very well, specifically. You arm them first. Yeah, you you of arm course. you arm the prisoners and then you direct uh, you direct uh, Sislak, who is the commander of the army, to uh, to take them in to train them, make sure that they are they're going to be adequate uh, fighting force. Oh, Sislak. If we have that time, we just send them right into the front line. <laughs> yeah. Figure well, it out. <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, you can. Yeah, so you say Sislak, these people are already psychotic. Put them on the front lines, and Sislak's like, I'll use them well. <laughs> no, they're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they will die very quickly. Five minutes later. Yeah. Uh, so that's where we're going to end for today. So you guys uh, free the, uh, or, or make the, the over tier safe. Uh, under, oh boy, middle tier is also uh, still under siege, <laughs> but under tier is also safe. There's so two of your three tiers are <laughs> There's safe. There's the legendary free city of tier. Mm-hmm. Then there's under tier, and okay. now there's over tier. Got it. Legendary, okay. fr- so legendary free city of tier, under tier, yeah. over tier. We need to add that still. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's where we'll end next week. We're going to deal with the siege. Uh, <laughs> the uh, the oh, just to remind everybody for next week, the name of the character is Sister X. <laughs> <laughs> Sister X. Sister X. Sister X. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's where we'll end for the week. Next and week we'll deal with the siege. And from now on, he will follow you. Uh, next week we're going to have a huge set piece siege, um, which will be one of our last episodes of the season because oh. we're getting up on the end here. Uh, so we'll deal with the siege on tier. Uh, we'll have uh, Kiganis helping defend along with Krulis' troops attacking. And as any well other as Patreon backers that wish to help. 
um, as well as uh, the Saxons. Uh, and it's going to be very interesting to see the Saxons in combat, to see Saxons. how they fight and what they do. I promise you this, it will be insane. <laughs> wow. It's going to be crazy. This sounds crazy uh, Next, uh, uh, and uh, actually, uh, next week's episode, um, we'll do a little brief catch-up with, uh, with Sister X to find out what's going on with, with Sister X. So next week's episode will be tentatively titled Sister X 2 Back in the Habit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for my producer making me funnier than I will ever be on my own. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Um, we'll go around the table. Oh, right. We're not going to oh, buy yet because I want That's people right. to right. listen to Eric's podcast, which is what? It's uh, justcoolenough.com. Okay. Uh, and he's on Twitter. You can find him on Twitter. At Dunkor, D-U-N-C-O-R. Or awesome. mo- mostly shit on Instagram. <laughs> uh, I like that. I like that username much better than the first one. <laughs> Alyssa. Uh, you guys can find me across social media at Alyssa Appleton. Um, and keep your ears out for mm-hmm. a keep your, your ears, ears to out? the ground. Keep your yeah. ears to the ground mm-hmm. for something but called uh, transference. It mm-hmm. is a pilot that my writing partner and I are currently shopping around. Cool. So nice. keep your fingers crossed for us. Awesome. Send fingers good vibes. Though. Send yes. good vibes. All of the vibes. Uh, put your it's ear to the grindstone. It's dope. <laughs> put it's your real dope. Ear to the grindstone. <laughs> David, uh, I do a show on this very channel. Uh, it was last night. It's every other Friday. Never tell me the odds, which is the Star Wars RPG podcast. It, it honestly gets uh, it gets so crazy on that show. God, we lost um, so many limbs in the game we ran <laughs> last night. It was the bloodiest. It is uh, consistently yeah. It's, it's true. I watched it. Um, okay, yeah, it is. It's, it's consistent. <laughs> it's just consistent insanity. Um, it was pretty good. Yeah. So that's every other Friday, uh, and then our website for that is Star Wars RPG Podcast dot com has all the it gets turned into podcasts as well, so you can listen to it on iTunes or whatever. Um, and uh, what is uh, what is, there's a uh, there's a Twitter right? Never tell me at, the odds. Yeah, the Twitter is, is at n t m t o podcast. Solid. It's easier to go to the website Star Wars RPG Podcast. And <laughs> yeah, it is Twitter a lot easier to remember there. that because <laughs> as as I was like, oh boy, I don't think I can I don't think I can remember all the letters for Never Tell Me the Odds, even it's though I know all those words in <laughs> <laughs> It's it's, it's got to change at some point. I don't know what I'm doing with that. With um, I'm terrible. sure you can just do at Han Solo. That one's not taken. Yeah, right? yeah. Absolutely it's, not. Oh, never. Star Wars sure, Twitter handles. Not. Turns out even I was like, oh, I'll get at least at NTMTO. I don't have to say podcast at the end. No, that's taken. Somebody has that. Some Japanese asshole. Yeah. What what a jerk. Kelsey? Um, well, I'm not doing anything interesting right now. No. Um, Woo! So that's fun. But if you want to read stupid things that I say, you can follow me on Twitter at Kelsey Kelsum, K E L S E Y. Where she counts down her favorite tweets. <laughs> 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 Welcome back. It's Kelsey Kelsum. Yeah, K E L S E Y. K E L S E M. All right. Um, I am on Twitter at Mrs. Hungraham. Uh, you can follow me where I tweet primarily about not gaming stuff. Um, so, so if you're, lizard, lizard it's action. it's honestly it is so much like social justice politics <laughs> stuff that they like what I do here for this show does not <laughs> intersect with my Twitter at all. I feel so like just I'm be aware. Kind of in that boat too, so. So just just yeah. like there's yeah. yeah. I mean, the, it, really, I would say it's I would say th- this gaming stuff that I do doesn't bleed into my Twitter so much as my Twitter bleeds <laughs> into this game. <laughs> That's the unfortunate part. Uh, but anyway, just a warning as far as that goes, because if you don't like p- uh, political or social justice Twitter, I am not the guy to follow for that. But uh, but uh, you know whatever. If you find me somewhat interesting, I do sometimes say funny things, but mostly it's it's politics stuff. And around town, you can see me telling stories and doing improv by just being a physical person involved in the comedy community. <laughs> so just <laughs> do that, I guess, um, because everything I do is live and I don't put things on the internet because because I totally get where the world is going. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> totally. Really I'm, I'm really dialed in on, on the content that kids like nowadays. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Especially by using the term dialed in. Yeah, dialed in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, no, let me, okay, hold on. Let me, yeah, let me use a phrase that will make sense to people. On radio, a roto-dialer. Yeah. I, uh, on the internet, I engage in radio silence sometimes. Yeah, that will make sense very, to people. Very, so, very useful. Because um, people listen to the radio still. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for donating. Uh, we really appreciate all the help towards the Alzheimer's Association fundraiser. Yeah. And continue donating because there are, and this is objectively true, there are days left in June still. Yeah, that That's is true. I can prove this. Yeah. No one can argue Lots with that. Facts. So con- continue. I don't want to see that look from my producer. That is, no, there are days left in June, and 
get get it done uh, chat <laughs> you can live live your life live those days and live them done. by donating a few more bucks to alz.org donate $5000 we get Larry the cable guy to come get it done okay how about this if you uh, shit if we if we get another $5000 i will live my life as Car Larry the cable guy <laughs> on this stream <laughs> and literally every I stream i do in perpetuity will be Larry the cable guy i mean i know he's not doing much but i don't think he gets out of bed for anything other than 10k <laughs> yeah that's the thing the guy He's oh, very he's, successful. He's, oh yeah, he's okay, based so on everything. So yeah. 5, 000, you become Larry the Cable Guy. I become Larry the Cable 10, 000, Guy. The Take over his <laughs> exactly. life. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, 10, that, that makes sense because he was just a. Okay. He's a random guy who who invented a character and then has to live his life as that character yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the purest form of the hell, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Another guy who reminds me of Larry the Cable Guy is uh, is Guy Fieri. Um, and here's the thing. I know people don't like Guy Fieri. Larry the Cable Guy Fieri? <laughs> Larry the Cable Guy Fieri. <laughs> There's a character. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually don't know why people Get hate Guy quick. Fieri so much. Because he's flamboyant. I mean, I, I, I and like, he loves small business. I don't know. The thing is, like, Guy Fieri is just like I think he's just a cool guy. Like, yeah, he's maybe not my, my favorite type of person, but like, I mean, he hasn't really done anything offensive. He's just been like, I don't he know. Is, he is pretty homophobic. Is he? Oh, I don't want to know that shit. Yeah. Okay. And apparently, behind the scenes, he he can get a little a little too like handsy with the the ladies. <laughs> okay. Right. I don't right. remember who it was. These are someone, definitely good rumors. Someone, <laughs> someone, yeah. someone yeah. called yeah. him the human personification of Mountain Dew, and I think that is the best thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Okay. So maybe all right. Maybe I'll walk <laughs> that back a little bit. But I will just say, like Guy Fieri, honestly, sometimes makes me happy, with, especially with the food he eats, because the food he eats is the type of food that I like. Um, <laughs> Which is most. <laughs> right, which is most food. I mean, food is good. Yeah, food is good, food is love. Is if there's one thing food you can take away from good. this podcast, it's that food, food is, is love. love. Food, food is, is love. Food is the language of love. <laughs> okay, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you to Sax and Dom for putting up with my bullshit every week. Um, and see you all on the internet soon. It was really fun, yay! Bye. With the bellies of the pie And listen to this tale of old With the heroes won't be high hey! He's a master of concealment And an adept of disguise With the heroes is when he's sick and fast The husband wants to lie He's slain many a villain He's a dragon football wizard He's looted chests of all the best of treasures he could find He's the only thing